All right, what's going on, guys? So now we're at episode two of Shop Bet. I got Trevor Finney with me today. Um, so the whole thing is whenever we get a like or love, one of us drinks, and you'll be able to hear a ping or um, a sound effect for either of us. You'll see it this pop is dope. up. Um, so this is sick. So whoever gets the most at the end of the episode has to take a shot. This is Shop Bet. <sighs> So first things first, I'm gonna make you drink. <laughs> all right. All right <laughs> Fuck all you right. up. I think we're already starting. Let's go. So I wanted to talk to you real quick. The craziest thing happened to you a few years ago. <laughs> if you want to start there. Oh my gosh. Um, yes, can. So we talked about it a little bit last week. Pumpkin Fest being one of the craziest. Thank you for the like. Okay. Let's see how this is going. <laughs> This is gonna be. This it's is gonna, gonna be fun. Yeah, it's gonna start Jesus real quick. Christ. So, <laughs> um, so last week we talked about Pumpkin Fest, and every year since I went, it seemed to get crazier and crazier with riots going on, and you were the one to blame. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I guess I was the one to blame. Um, were you there? No, I wasn't. Actually, that that was the first year we didn't go. Okay, so I mean, it's probably the better year. Thank you. Not to go. Um, yeah. So. In 2014, well, 2013, I wanted to get out of my college dorm, which is kind of what every college kid wants to do, um, especially when you're in a city and uh, you want to go to other colleges, obviously. Yeah. There's MIT and all these other colleges, big Harvard, BU. Um, I needed to get to those college colleges and I needed to go to those parties. I couldn't get in. I wasn't an athlete. I didn't go to those schools. I went to Bay State College. Um, if anybody's watching that goes to Bay State College, not shit-talking Bay State College, but <laughs> fuck Bay State College. I'm sorry. Thank you, guys. Um, yeah, so I, I started to film college parties, and I ended up getting hit up by some kid from Keene State in 2014 to go film Spring Weekend. So it wasn't even Pumpkin Fest. Obviously, yeah. it was in the springtime. Um, and I filmed that. We made a cool video. And uh, I brought all my boys with me. And we ended up actually, for whatever reason, not getting in trouble, but we did host a pretty big party that cops came to. Um, make, the sh make the story a little faster here speed up to Halloween time of 2014. Uh, we were tweeting a few weeks earlier that we, we were having a party at this, this college. Um, we didn't realize that our Twitter was gonna blow up, but it did. We ended up getting like 3,000 followers like in two nights. Um, that came with 24,000 retweets on one of our tweets. Yeah, which was, is which is crazy and it stupid. it's dude. funny because I I'm sorry for the delay I, What happens is you're matching your numbers matching with your shirt So oh I wanted God. to make sure people knew when you're at three right now, and I'm at six <laughs> All right. So let's go. Cheers. Let's go. So, I like that It's funny because we talked about it real quick and You were featured on the New York Times. Yeah, which is it spiraled insane. Out of control. So not only actually, I have the article right here, oh, and we'll get <laughs> we'll get deeper into it. In so uh, this is the article right here where um, they talk about the riot going on, and like there was cars being flipped and set on fire. There was yeah, like that's, that's about right. crazy things going on. That and I had nothing to do with by, by <laughs> but I didn't I literally I didn't send anybody off to go for cars I didn't. which is like <clears throat> so I have right here if you if you guys want to see I'm, I'm gonna hope that I'm pointing in the right direction oh, but it says that for weeks your online party company was sending out tweets calling on college students across New England to come to Keene State College to go out which you know what you know what's fucked up about that is it's a party scene. That's yeah. it, it is I mean, what it is. Like people are partying. Like people were going to Pumpkin Fest to get absolutely obliterated without your permission. You know what I mean? Like it's for not like years. For years. years. I remember going and the streets were flooded with people. Yep. You could not move. Everyone unless you were passed out like on the street, the cops weren't bothering you. No. And it was just a shit show. And like I remember like we were dunk we were uh, dropping alcohol from third story uh, floors like i had this i had the funniest story i'm walking down the street and i have like this little kid or or, or someone short in a s complete saw outfit like jigsaw oh okay and That's he's following me down the street that. and i'm like shit yeah, things yeah. and i'm like no, and he's like you want to play a game That's no, That's not and i was like no point. no but it's like not fun. Like, there's so much stuff. Like, I remember partying in a laundromat. I remember going to, like, college parties that were just... Packed everything right People were throwing tires like... and beer bottles. I, I remember we got raided for a little bit, and it might have been at the same house. And I just remember, like, like the cops or whatever, higher cops, not, like, the... 
Keene College Cops, yeah. and we took off. But this has been going on for years, no, we were and not then all the of a sudden, you're here. the guy that everyone blames, and then they're pulling your hashtags, which I think is the yeah. funniest thing. So, it's, it, like I said, those the Twitter was the biggest was the biggest issue with that dude. And those hashtags, like read those. Let the kids play. Let the kids play. That was my so, favorite one. Yeah, I mean, t I it's mean, almost like they said like that's that's a hashtag that started it all. Like it's like yeah. bring the rights on, let the kids play, and I was like, that's crazy. They had somebody to pinpoint that year. They had somebody yeah. to blame instead of one individual well, where it wasn't going to make any news. They had a party company to yeah. blame. It, it was easy. Like, it was easy for them. And that's yeah, the thing. That's And, like, you scroll down and you see, like, on the positive note, <laughs> the police never drew their guns uh, using sponge batons, uh, pepper balls, let me interrupt. tear gas. Yeah, exactly. So they never pulled their guns, but they pulled yeah. uh, paintball guns that were filled with pepper balls. <laughs> so I don't know if anybody's ever been around those before, but no. they're literally... Their uh, their paintballs filled with, with pepper spray basically. So when they hit things, it just expands within three feet around you. So I, all I remember doing is running. And I mean, like I said, you probably dealt with somewhat similar because yeah. it wasn't the first year. Yeah. But when you're running around like the campus with like twenty something thousand kids, and all of a sudden there's balls flying by your face, and you're seeing yellow stains on people's shirts, but it wasn't paint, and all of a sudden your eyes started burning. You definitely were like, Did right, you get hit? I never got hit, but my buddy D that I was with, um, a few a few of the guys that were that's crazy. Yeah, which were wearing Finnerade shirts, which was not good, um, because nevertheless they ended up getting on the news for the most wanted people from the Keene State riots. It was every single kid that was wearing our shirt, which was stupid. But yeah, it was it was a mess, man. They were shooting guns, just not with ammunition that was gonna kill us. I mean, if it hits them in the eye, that was, yeah. Dude, I saw a girl like messed up from a cop, but you know well, that's another story. That's crazy. I, I love cops. And <laughs> it's, it is what it is. I have another article too, which is I think this one's better. It says Daily oh, Beast. Yeah. This was, this Finna was... Rage wants you. Look at the time that this and... lady was up posting this. <laughs> she was. She was like, I gotta get this out <laughs> right now. Like this happened three hours ago. This, I'm gonna sit up and write the best this, article we've which ever is had in this crazy because it's like like encourages young parties Dude. to go like like it's not a college like I get it like if you were throwing like a, like in the middle of a city party or something like that yeah. and you guys were the brand you guys threw it brought like the musical acts and everything that's one thing but the fact that you're just there like I I like I get like let's party but at the same time I almost felt like um. Like you, you were just there to like film it and show like what Pumpkin Fest is capable. That's what of. we were doing at first, but then I had the idea, like I had the entrepreneurial status, like, you know what I mean. I started thinking about what I should do to make more money. I was, I was really getting into that vibe. I was like, oh, why don't I bring DJs and start charging the houses? To, oh, like, oh, yeah. Okay. So I, I did all that, but like, I, you know what I mean. Everybody's gone through that where they brought their buddy that was a DJ, but we ended up going on like a little mini tour and we brought the same kid. So. I, I did obviously like help him out a little and bit, but it, it that's, hurt us. You did out. what? A bunch of EDM shows? Yes. Is, was, is that part of it, or is that something completely different? It, that transitioned into it. Like okay. we went to Penn State. We got hired to film at Penn State, and there was a big DJ there. Um, oh man, I forget what he was or who he was rather. But now he's like he's he's on like a different level. You know what I mean? Okay. So we filmed him, and then I was like, dude, this is crazy. Like I want to try to get into the clubs, and then how it, it just kind of linked together from there on out. I ended up. Leaving school, I got kicked out of college actually because of thinner age. So really, yeah, I, I got kicked out of college well, because of that. I think it was you or someone else was telling me like your mom got like repercussions too. She so I mean, she, it's New Hampshire. Yeah, you know what I mean, so it's she, a small state. Yes, yeah, so, <laughs> in, in a way, it is. Oh, you're out for a drink. By oh the way. Jesus! All right, um, <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah. So like the only thing is like when we switch to different segments, we'll have to come back and catch okay. up. Okay, for sure, definitely. I'm getting too and into this I think now. you might got another one. All right, it's fine. Come on, bring it. <laughs> bring it. Um. So, okay, we might have an issue here, but no. Um. So what happened with my mom was, I'm gonna keep it short. Basically, she had to go into work and deal with uh, a whole heap of stories. Everyone was talking about who did this. Oh, I heard Sharon's kid did this. Um, so she had to basically go through this embar embarrassing time where she had to explain to everybody why her kid started a, a riot at a, a college that was very <laughs> known in, in New Hampshire. So it, it wasn't good on her end, but I promised her that I'm going I'm to do whatever I can to set her up in the future. So like, that's kind of what I promised her yeah. then, which was harder to tell her then for her to kind of comprehend. Yeah, to kind of like take it. I hope she kind of can understand that we might be on the right path, but yeah. It, it was rough. It went it went down the whole stream of my family. It just it sucked, but it's good. Which, Everybody which knows is like so insane to just think that like, <clears throat> like again like maybe they didn't understand it, but it's also because it hit 
nationally because it was on news, it was on talk shows and everything, and it, almost like a mockery of it. Oh, I'm, I'm supposed to put everything on silent. So, but <laughs> you have a, yeah, yeah. I'll do it too. You do too, but you, yeah, you went up. Um, it's, that was my cousin, I think. She was trying to FaceTime. I, is, she, is Stephanie watching right now? Because I'll give her a shout out, but... But if oh you're not, gosh. then I guess you <laughs> I take it back. But anyway, so yeah, that's that's the thing that was like, it's a college, you know. What I mean, like, how how is every parent just gonna like, you know, lock down? That I think what happens is it was made a mockery on all these talk shows because it's like, of course, New Hampshire would have a riot exactly. at a pump, pumpkin fest. So not only was it like, it wasn't like Florida State throwing a party. It was which that happens all the time. Like happens, what happens at Keene happens all the time. Everywhere else. Exactly. So but then all of a sudden it's a pumpkin fest yeah. that got out of hand. It's yeah. like. Okay, well, like let's make fun of it, and then everyone heard about it, especially here. But I mean, bad publicity, good publicity. Any any publicity is good publicity. Yeah, exactly, yeah. and that's and that that's what they're looking for. But that I I, I was cracking up over that. Like that's th seeing it because I didn't know you back then. But I was I remember we were talking about going, but then the year before people were setting stuff on fire and pulling stop signs that year too so it's like and did you hear, did you ever hear about university primetime you ever heard of that name no they the year before they tried to do kind of what we were doing and go there and document it and whatnot but they ended up getting into a lot of trouble just because the kid that was running it was a the jackass. year before that year the year before and the year before like the kid always did it and he his company actually was very successful it's uh it was a huge college brand um but his by him exploiting what i was doing at Keene state and all these other schools Definitely built up the snowball effect leading up to Keene State. So, thank you to University of Primetime for screwing up my life for a little bit. <laughs> so, I don't know what to transition to next, but I see you have your brand yes. on right now. Hell yes. If you want to get into that. Yeah. I love that shirt, by the way. So, I mean, it's, it, uh, uh, I mean, yes, it's a perfect transition period <laughs> because no one really knows uh, that this company basically was built off of thinner age. Okay. So obviously being an adult that I am now. Oh, that's, um, that's, oh, and that's me too. Okay. <laughs> it's Go. it's going to keep going. Um, so the brand limitless. Oh, for you viewers at home, if you want to pregame with us, feel free to drink every please, time we drink because please. you're going to, you're going to get pretty wasted before the night. I know my buddy like, Toth is watching too. So <laughs> he's just, dude, I swear to God, you better be drinking. <laughs> But anyways, so your your new brand. Yeah, it's literally based off of what we did with Thinner Age. You know what I mean? I, I did something to the extreme. I got out of my comfort zone. I Obviously, I could have done the norm and stayed in college and made my mom proud. Yeah. And gotten straight A's or straight B's. I definitely couldn't have gotten straight A's, but I would have done my <laughs> hardest. And um, you know what I mean? I could have done that, you know? That's that's me. You got oh, one. I got Jesus two. Christ. It's I think last time we hit 100, 110 between the two people. I know I got it's too slammed. many coronas. Yeah, so that's. Hey, it's your own. Pa no, 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 no. <laughs> it's your own pace. I'm saying. So right. if you want to, if you want to babysit it, it's we we have right quite now. some uh, drinks ahead of us. Uh, so. I'm good. I'm good. Um, Let's do this. So anyways, uh, continue. Yes. Before I was rudely interrupted by all these loves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, basically, yeah, we did all that. It, it was a mess. My mom obviously wanted to see her kid go to school, get a scholarship, or no, get a degree and get out of there and then get a job. I was a f junior in college working full time at a bar down the street and I was doing this, throwing college parties around the around New England, basically. The furthest we got was like, um, I think we got to North Carolina. And that was oh, like the no furthest shit. we got. Okay. Yeah. Um, with this for new CSU. brand? For CSU, no. For oh, Fenner still Age. with Finnerage. And then we okay. went to Penn State like two years ago, which was the last ever party. And I just did that because we wanted to cash out and they paid us well for whatever reason. Uh, and that was the, after wait, the fact. Wait, who, like the, Penn the, State, frat, the fraternity? Penn State? No, P Penn State pays fraternities, I guess, a budget every year or whatever. For parties. I don't know exactly how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For extracurricular activities. So that goes <laughs> into the parties. Exactly, dude. So that's, that's how they said it to us. That's such a crazy dude, deal. wild. So we would sign contracts and everything with Penn State stamps on it, and we would do a legal party. That was the last ever party. So obviously, like, I, I, I couldn't run with that after I got kicked out of college. I was living at home with my old man. There's family issues, you know what I mean? It just didn't yeah, make yeah, sense yeah. to do a, a college party like that business. It, it wasn't lucrative. There was no money in it. Um, I didn't see myself doing that. I didn't see myself inspiring other people to do anything with that. So I said, yeah. I said enough. Oh, enough. Me too. Is that two for me? Okay, maybe two. So yeah, we started. You just playing the animation. Ugh. Oh, you're. I think you're giving him too much. Who? Oh, 
Please. Oh, you just got a bunch? Mm -hmm. Alright, one second. I just gotta fix this real quick. Ah! Okay. Right. But yeah, so <laughs> I was at my house, that whole thing happened, I left You're the house. You're beating me right now, which I'm a little upset <sighs> about. <laughs> Listen though, if he, people... look, he's drinking this though, so you have to give him credit. No, no, like... you can. I, I'll, I'll drink this all day. If I oh drank that, I'd be like too deep, and then I'm sleeping. No, I'm, I don't get drunk or like, like crazy. I just literally will go to bed on this table yeah, if I have a beer. Yeah, beer you puts me. Solid, I don't know I what it is, so I need sugar. Like, and I have a Red Bull. Oh, man. I have a Red Bull if you need it too, because uh, I know you just came from a wedding. So yeah, I came. That's why. Filming a wedding. I look like crap. I'm sorry. But you look good on this side. <laughs> I do look good. Anyway, <laughs> so anyways, you. so. But yeah, I couldn't do that. Left my left my house in Tingsboro where I grew up for twenty something years. Went to my grandma's house in Arlington. Lived in a spare bedroom with uh, my old man and, and. I think people are pissed. I was beating you. Oh so they, man, they're coming Please, back. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> no, keep no, going. Give Let's it have to some him. Fun for oh, a second. if you want to hear anything from Trevor, so we got we. So just a side yeah, note please. for all the people watching right now. So we just got a third mic, and a two people that are watching the community right now. Yes, I got it. I got two more drinks. So we got people in the community. Uh, community managers on the side that will take your comments and relay it to us and we have a third mic so if you have anything to ask Trevor or myself or to interject if it's good we'll take it and uh, you gonna punch in right now yeah we actually got a, a couple comments coming in one being the tying on to pumpkin fest uh -oh. uh, looking for an opinion that you have on pumpkin fest using fin rage to kind of bolster admissions uh, Keen State kind of latched on to it to get additional kind of ticket purchases and get people attending it cool. using that negativity and, and wanted to get your opinion on it. They should have given me a cut. <laughs> if, I'm, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I made them all this money, if I'm getting all these students to their school, then... Well, that's the thing. That the, who, who is it that does the um, top 10 party schools? Is that so University Primetime was doing that and they were leading that whenever you would look online, but I'm, I'm assuming Barstool so, took but over. Like, and, I'm sure people and like look at Pumpkin Fest and then Keen in general and then people were hearing about this party and go, I want to go there because all of a sudden Pumpkin Fest is more heard about than like a Plymouth or UNH because a lot – that does – as much as <laughs> parents don't want to hear that, it does – come into effect when kids are looking for or at least kids are looking to party because half of it is the experience so they might be going to good college but the people that have more than one decision they'll weigh it out and be like well this is a party school that gets rioted Facts. this must be Facts. crazy i want i want that experience so i'm sure like in, in finna rage boosted that you know so i've never heard that before which is pretty crazy to hear but um basically the the Thank biggest you. thing that i can take from that is i don't think anybody can top keen state Pumpkin Fest 2014, like no one has yet. I mean, so I mean that's kind of it speaks for itself. But it's nothing to brag about on my end. But for the kids that were there, I guess it was crazy. You guys get to say that you went there, but yeah. But yeah, that's I wild. Remember. Keen yeah. State. If any administrators yeah, are watching, like, where am I drinking? <laughs> Here we go. Um, okay, so so yeah, with <laughs> with drinking, I think we're gonna have a lot of back and forth. So we'll go back mind. to going back into Limitless, and you All have right. another one coming in for you. Oh, you have a couple coming in for you. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get another beer open after I finish this sentence. Feel free to like slow down. You don't have to like take gulps because well, I think that's what we found out last time. If you take gulps, because I mean you're at 20 drinks, you finish two beers, so it's like 10 sips of beer, which I'm gonna isn't slow down bad. Now for sure. I would <laughs> yeah. trust me. I'll the half time you gonna kind of kick in, it. and you're gonna be like, <sighs> <sighs> okay. So all right, we're gonna chill out now because that's true. Um, but we just started. No, I know we did. We got to stop right like, now with this. We've been on thing. maybe twenty minutes and like. All right. Well, like, so I'm already <laughs> kind of in the zone because I was at a wedding drinking Coronas too. So <laughs> let's, just, let's go. A little bit. All right. I'm good. So ask me anything. <laughs> JB's open for anything too. We're gonna have a good night. All right. Back to Limitless. <laughs> so Grandma's house. I was working at Sprint. Um, I was working at Sprint, making enough money where I got a house, and I actually met. Basically everybody that's in this room yeah. and everybody that's probably watching right now, which is pretty crazy in my eyes. Yeah. Um, I, I was renting a yellow house with some pretty crazy roommates. It was one of the coolest experiences I've had. And I'll drink for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take a breather here. But yeah, it was cool. I mean, we had we had producers in the house. We had uh, my buddy who's in the military right now, Cam, Cam yep. Lewis. Um, it was it was friggin' it was an awesome experience. Um, nevertheless, we we shot multiple music videos there um, and we also 
created a team there. I met my buddy Joe. He's my business partner now. Um, <laughs> I think people, I'm just gonna. I right. think people are, dude. I see, I think people you, I see a, you all. I think people took offense to the fact that you didn't drink, so oh they're God, just giving Jesus you more. Jesus Christ, JB. I think JB. We're good. We're good. Oh shit. I just need to look at that. That's an invention, Cork. <laughs> Cork. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you a uh, give you one too. No, I'm gonna give you a love. Um, okay. <laughs> so, anyways, to go back, I met the coolest people that I've met in my <laughs> life so far. You got a couple. I got a Bert first. All right, I got you. Thank you, Bert. Anybody else want to take a shot and drink for me while you can? <laughs> before I just am not here anymore because I'm drinking too much. All right, but yeah, I met amazing people at the Yellow House, and I keep saying Yellow House because literally, if you know of this house, you know it was the Yellow House. Like yeah. that was if you if you were going there. You knew what you were going for. It was it was it was the best friggin' time I've had yeah, in a while. Yeah. Um. Anyways, we created something there. We ended up actually moving, not out of that place, but we kind of moved out of that location where we were working more with another pro project two studios. You guys probably know them. Yeah. Um, we were working Which alongside them. Big time. Please, yes, they're unbelievable people. And uh, basically, we ran with Limitless as a lifestyle and. Um, media company basically at first but now we're kind of moving that towards the side and going towards a lifestyle and uh apparel company okay and um it's very vague right now because i'm not one of those people to jump right into it and, and tell you exactly like what what we're doing right off the bat because it's a snowball and it keeps changing everything keeps keeps moving and it's just it's basically forming into its own monster which is kind of which crazy. is so cool because yeah. like i think there's a See the and I, I'm gonna get into this later on because I want to add a new section when we're like pretty toasty near the end where it's things that bother us okay. just to like vent, just ah, have like shit. a vent session. I can, I and can I do think that. <laughs> I think one of the things that bothers me, which I'll kind of prelude to, is I feel there's not enough people doing things like 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 out of like like I, you know, I don't want to pat myself on the back, but I feel having a podcast there's not too many people doing it. There's not there, there's so many different lanes that people could be approaching you know with like shows and like you doing video like the we'll talk about the one take yep, um, contest so, that yeah. you do and other things and I feel there's not enough creative minds thinking outside of the box to provide entertainment because like for instance when, when we have like the, the reason I know Trevor is because I do hip-hop and I host this yearly show and he filmed last year's and this year's and it's a riot. We have two, three hundred people, but sick, like man. no one's doing that type of stuff. And that, and I, I'll, I'll cut it off there because I'll <laughs> a few more drinks. I'll be venting big Please, time. Man. But Can't I think, I think like it needs to like people need to think of like just don't do what everyone else is doing. Do you? And people will just appreciate the fuck out of that. Mm -hmm. And I and and that's why the, like when I had heard about you and your branding, I wanted you on the show to talk to people and have a talk and like let them know what you're doing and see that it's doable because you you come up from grandma's basement and then then throw <laughs> like getting in huge like fire for the uh pumpkin fest situation and now you're just all over the place which we'll we'll know more about in a second oh yeah so i mean the biggest thing that you just said is getting people out of their like that that box is it's nearly impossible yeah and and obviously this is speaking for almost every single person that's watching this video um, there's well, there's not one person that's watching this video that can't think outside the box and do something that that next person isn't doing. Um, I, I'm a pretty normal person. I never thought of myself as being like a crazy artist, or like a crazy creative person. Mm -hmm. I wasn't like an art class making crazy designs like some of the people that I know can do. Like I, I thought of I I was putting myself in the normal person's position. I was like, how can I make this different? And I yeah. kept doing that. And I kept doing things that other people weren't doing. So it's. Like I am literally the living proof to say that like I don't care who you are, you can literally do anything, anything. you put your mind to. Yeah. Like literally anything. That box is just a box. Yeah. Like there's more. There's more. Uh, you yeah. know what I mean? There's more everything. That's why you live limitless, it's, dude. That's so that's that's literally it, man. Like I, I didn't just start this because I want to make a lot of money. Like I literally like, I am passionate about this. Like I literally live it. Like the whole thinner age thing, like I laugh at that. Like yeah, like I got in trouble. My mom got in trouble. My family got into a lot of shit for it. But like dude, like. Like I'm having a great time. I'm where I'm at now. So like, 
I think something maybe worked, but I think that every single person that's watching this can take something from this and literally just tomorrow, just even something. if you have a full time job, dude, go become the manager. Go do another, go work harder than that person up before you. Like mm -hmm. just do something. That's living limitlessly. I mean, that's stepping out of your box. Like that's doing something that the other person's not doing. So we just do it. We got a couple things coming in. I think one of the the big the big ass that I'm seeing is. You know, you talk about the passion, and that's very obvious and apparent. I mean, you're walking in wearing your own kind of brand is a pretty powerful statement. <laughs> which I, I always of, did myself. <laughs> which Justin is a fan of. I think one of the big questions is, you know, how did you take that first step in that dream? What did you go about doing? Like, you talk about the art piece and the design, but when you took that first step to start making the clothes, when you started branding yourself, you know, what was that look like? What is that experience to you? Like taking the the first Thank you, John. step, yeah. yeah I, I mean, this isn't like that's wild. So like we we took like sidebar. We did last episode, and like we what we did was we watched a lot of the comments and everything coming in, and we wanted to just take it to the next level. And yeah. I know having um, John and both cat, uh, both John and Cat chiming in, looking at like what's going on. Is, is just gonna make it so much more. So feel free to keep keep asking questions, keep asking, like leaving a comment and uh, John will relay it to us, but. Yeah, so I mean, that first step is always uncomfortable. Like, you know what I mean? It's always uncomfortable. Oh, I, 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 I spent months back and forth on just even doing this, you know, and I, I trust me, I. Dude, <laughs> if, if it's not uncomfortable, I'm being straight up. If it's not uncomfortable, you are doing it wrong. If you feel like something's going wrong, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Fix it and address it and just go about it. But like I said, if, if you're not if you're not noticing that you're uncomfortable, you're doing something wrong. Nothing's perfect. You're never you don't just you don't just wake up one morning and be like, wow, this idea I have in my head, it's gonna work because of this, 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 and this and this and this. It's like, no, it's like how am I gonna execute this? I'm gonna execute this. It's controlled. It's just it's you're gonna be uncomfortable. Control your uncomfortability. Drinks. Like So with that uncomfortable, I'm gonna segue into our cringe of the day clip. Okay, please. Um, okay. <laughs> Why? I just got six drinks. Oh, we're Thank tied, you guys. Buddy. Huh? We're tied. I know. Okay. And we're we're at, drink with you. I just uh, this it's a beautiful you time. Have. I'm sipping. <laughs> nope. I'm taking this one. I'll drink for you. So we're gonna go on the cringe. So this clip. I think we spoke about it real quick. We've both seen this, but many of you probably haven't. Um, and I just wanted to just get your honest uh, reaction and just kind of watch it and like enjoy the moment. And we'll see. All right, so you guys in the comment section, let us know what you think about the clip and if you like it, because what we'll do is I pulled up the genius.com lyric breakdown. If you guys want to see that afterwards, just comment you know genius over and over and over and if you guys do it enough we'll watch a second clip and talk about it <laughs> so this is doja cat so she she is, so like obviously you're probably cringing at the fact that this music video is all chopped and green yeah. screened poorly bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. I'm not a cat. I don't say meow. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. I know it sounds bitch, stupid. Bitch, I'm a cow. <laughs> bitch, I'm a cow. It's been stuck in my head for a week because I had to I know look it up sounds clips. stupid. <laughs> but you have to listen. She's actually not bad singing. <laughs> she has 20 million views in two weeks. And this I this is stepping out of your comfort zone. <laughs> this is that box that we were talking about, and this is her leaping out of that box and sprinting. She has, and she has good music too, because I watch other stuff. This is Doja Cat, this is D O J A Cat. You just looked up her name. I know, but why? Because it's this, I, was, I didn't know this was all of that. Dude, this is... Do we need to turn it up at all? Please, I want to listen, I want to listen. Um, can someone turn yeah, 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 right here on the, on the screen. So, this, this is actually just for the thumbnails for when, for when we, uh, <laughs> we post this because we're going to see boobs and then we're going to get a bunch of views. But it's just Lily about men 
the next clip. Thanks, Baffle. A comment genius if you want to see the next clip. We might have to, but... Oh, there's a lyrical breakdown of this. There's a lyrical breakdown of this video. I'm excited for that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure people... We'll just... How, how are we doing on comments? Is there enough people into it? Huh? There's a lot of them? We'll wait it out. We got one for genius right now. We have a shout out from Brianna. Dakota! Uh, shout out to Joanna. Oh, Joanna! Hey, shout out I to Joanna! Know her. <laughs> I also got a comment it's that uh, Trevor's, it's my joy. Uh, Trevor's my face is fiance. getting red. It is like a gauge for drinking for the night. So as he is enjoying it, he keeps getting red. So, uh, a, lot of, a lot of good community Enjoy this cherry as I turn into uh, even more of a cherry. It's going to be awesome. Um, so if we could have a uh, sound crumb, can you turn it up a little bit? Because I think we're, I think we're, I don't care about you guys. I want to watch the genius breakdown because I'm ready this to, makes I'm me so much this. better. I, I've, I've heard this slightly. was like a huge distraction for me. I would like go to hit the keys on the keyboard and like I'd have shit in my way. Like I literally can't, I can't function with this. And I'm just like hitting the keys and I'm like, you know what? Oh, by the way, people hate I'm just going to make a song about cows. So just, <laughs> was I just tapping on the table? Doing it. Oh my gosh. But I love this because we'll only listen to a I've couple. I had intention of uh, making uh, like higher meme music that would maybe reach a wider audience that would make yeah, people good. go, "What the hell is this? I should share this." And yeah, I've totally thought that shit that I've made would go viral, but that wasn't really the idea behind this. That's I how I feel like all the time when I do stuff. I dude. made the song. It's like video I think this is gonna go viral, and then it just fuck. just it was stops. It was, like it gets ten likes, and then people don't care off. anymore. Yo, this girl's a genius. Bro. Makeup on. We she just covered in grease. But the thing I love is French she's gonna break down these and lyrics, and, and the oil first chorus is the same not, line eight times. It wasn't so you pleasant, see, but like, the end result was great. All right, there it is. Mama, 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 mama. <laughs> I think that it's kind of a break for everybody. I feel like artists have been taking themselves really seriously in the climate right now is kind of like, it's kind of uptight. Everyone's pretty pretty sensitive right now. I think people do need true. humor. It is, it like, is. Like, especially in this time. Yeah, bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, like that I'm she's a eating cow. that right now. <laughs> it's it's just like, yeah, that way through. dude, I I'm love a cow. it. Bitch, I'm a but the cow. thing that's Bitch, I'm a cow. this song Bitch, is I'm so a catchy. I am so upset because all because I'm looking for clips and I'm like I was like Travis is just gonna enjoy something that's just poorly done video wise. And I'm I'm saying, I was like, I'm gonna scratch his brain. And then my name is Doja And then I'm like this song that. is Before I'm like song, Wednesday. I'm like my name for sure. No. But there is no way in hell. Oh, you <laughs> caught yourself <laughs> doing this while driving. She's just killing it. We'll just get to the first Ooh. verse and then we'll Ooh. Ooh. see. Ooh. Just like everybody just wants to it. make some moves. <laughs> I like this girl. Man. I'm she's just cool. making moves. It's, she's you know, just she's different. She's saying fuck it. Yeah. But just now. But just now. I'm trying to make moves. <laughs> got milk. Bitch. Kill it. Got beef. I got chocolate milk. Got steak hoe. Got cheese. If anyone makes a cow song, they have to say got milk. I think I was forced so, to say that whoa. shit subconsciously. We'll Dude. Got a ho, not a lean. We'll come back. Great a ho, not a lean ho. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, so, I like that line. so from there, what we'll do is, uh, well, I think this is a perfect transition to Project Two. Project Two. <laughs> I wish I had a piece of their clothing on, dude. I was gonna bring their hat, but yeah, you messed up. Hopefully they're not watching because then they're gonna like. <laughs> We're giving them a nice shout out. Enough. We're giving them a nice <laughs> shout out. Ben, Actually, Connor, you know what's, I love you know you guys. what's crazy? Um, because we, Stincy, we, I love we, you, Stincy, so much. We dude. we followed up this week, and then you're like, oh, like, sorry, man, I couldn't respond. Yeah. I'm talking to DMX right now, and I'm like, okay, hold on. Okay, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Completely reverse, completely reverse. That was my fuck up. That was my fuck up. I wasn't talking to DMX now. I wanted to talk about the story of DMX and him talking with me oh. two months ago. But so it's you're fine. not as cool as hey, I thought. It's fine, What's guys. with... Okay, why did I get bumped up to 32 from 27? Because I lied. Because that's what it is. Everyone's like switching over to me. Like, <laughs> They heard DMX and they're like, Justin needs they're to drink. Drink. Right. Justin. Where that? Give him Burp. some drinks. Oh, I love it. But yes. X gonna give it to you. <laughs> it was a weird experience, man. But that, That's but crazy. I didn't talk to him last night. But I did. I don't. Joe, were you there? 
No, okay, so Joe was not there. Connor was there. Connor and Ben were there. We sat with DMX in Project 2's room, in their back main room, for like an hour and a half talking about everything. So like the reason why I know this is like, oh, it's DMX, it's like whatever, but like no, it's like you know of DMX being in Nashville for sobriety. I was the reason why he got from the sobriety place to Project 2 is because I was filming an event. And that to, he was at. That he was at. I was hired to film an event. So I, I asked, I convinced the owner of the um, the place basically to to basically introduce him to Project 2. Oh, to pull him out for Just a to, little bit. Yeah. After the fact. I knew he was going to be Did there he, Wait, weeks. was he in your car? He was in his car. So we were in a Mercedes. We were in the, um, the, uh, the center's. CEO's car, which whatever, he, I don't even think he's around anymore. He he screwed me with money, so regardless, I don't. <laughs> anybody that screws me with money, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Yeah. Um, regardless, we we're sitting in his car. He went inside. Dmx, like went like this to me to come in the car, or whatever. And we we were just like we were just like <laughs> I would, we were just chilling, I would like we were just done. chilling in the back park. Dmx is just like finger but, wagging but, you over. But but uh, what's his face? The CEO was right here, so he was chilling. Like it wasn't like it was like just me and him. Like he was getting into my brain. I was getting in his brain. It was like. I was making sure that like they weren't trying to do something like trying to get something out of me that I wasn't supposed to say. Like I didn't know what it was, so I was obviously watching what I was saying. But yeah, I talked. Like we had a nice civil conversation That's before so we went inside. Weird. It was very weird because just saying it out loud is bro, just weird to me hearing it. You bro, know, he, like, wa he was messed up. Like DMX was messed up. Like he was like where, the reason why he was in sobriety is because he's messed up. You know what I mean? Okay. So like I'm kind of glad nothing came of it. Like we didn't work together. No offense to DMX, but like. He does have to get a shit straight, like obviously. But like, what led from that, which was absolutely mind blowing, bro. Which was just like one of those things connecting. Everything just keeps connecting, and I'm I'm sure you feel this way too. Oh, trust me. Yeah. Like this right here, shop it. Like, look at this, dude. This is a connection. Yeah. This is this is this because is because the last episode, you know what I mean? Like dude. people just increasing the quality is just is just these guys. This is and sick. Then, and this just is things dope. happening. But that's what I'm saying, yeah. man. It's those it's those energies just connecting. Yeah. Wherever you are, things happen for reasons, right? Um, <laughs> you got one, I got two. Okay. So, this is cool. So, leading off of that, we met DMX. The main speaker, who wasn't even DMX, was this girl called Syrah. Oh! Yeah. Okay, I know where this is okay. going. So you guys I, are in for a treat. So, I should have asked you to play this song. Cause it's, I yeah. yeah. So, I'm sure most of the viewers here have heard of Skrillex. Um, when we were in high school, he was huge. Uh, a lot of EDM dubstep. That song Bang Rang. That song mm -hmm. Bang Rang. Yeah, of course. Shout out to my boss boys. We rowdy. Was that it Grammy? Yeah, that was a Grammy. <laughs> Syrah, that was her. So on she was hook? on that. She was. That was her on the hook. That was her. So she was at this event because she got. She had some issues too with drugs and whatnot. But she cleaned herself up. She got herself strained out. Is she, she from around here or she just happened no, to be at not. the center? Yeah, she just happened to go through the center when she was in sobriety, and she and she had to go through there to to meet with. I forget what his name was. I don't want to give him credit. Um, <laughs> but regardless, I ended up meeting her. Joe, Joe and I am a partner, and, and we, my business partner, because I don't want people to think that there's anything weird going on. Um, <laughs> anyways, we met Syra, and she straight up told us, like, Trevor, I want to shoot your next video. Um, she, she knew that I never really shot, like, a big video like that. She knows I've worked with, like, a few other people and mm -hmm. whatnot. But, like, on her scale of, like, Skrillex, like, like, you know what I mean? She's never worked with somebody that was on my level, and I yeah. never worked with somebody on her level. So I ended up doing a music video for her. And um, she's Demi Lovato's best friend, which is best friend, which is crazy. Best like, friend. like if we reference Stoken later on, like oh working my with God, them. I was just about to bring that up, man. Yeah. So anybody, I don't care what anybody says, anybody in this viewing room or whatever knows of Stoken, knows that Stoken makes fire beats, which is which is crazy because like that's all interconnected between Dude. us two too because Stoken produced a big chunk of my last two projects. Anybody that's worked with Stoken Beats, listen to me right now. He is in LA and he is working with artists that I cannot name, but he is working with big artists and he has made a song for Demi Lovato. Okay? So anybody to shit talk that, like I don't care what anybody says. You got a says. couple. People are inspired. So listen, I'm being serious. So anybody that's worked with him, you guys are smart. You, got you guys heard it. You, you guys are three you knew. <laughs> Drink me up. <laughs> this is for Stokey, baby. For Stokey, baby. I got you too. Oh, you got something to say? So coming in, we we, we know Skrillex <laughs> was in from first to last for all the old people okay. in the room. Boom. Shout out to Beyond Skrillex me. being in that emo band and his tight pants. We, we've heard you. <laughs> you don't have to keep posting it. <laughs> He's nasty. He's good. I liked him. Yeah. I like I liked Skrillex a lot. But um. So you met up with 
And then, and then how did you, so how did that transition to like project two? Or well, is that like kind of, you was just kinda, kept building up your portfolio? Yeah, and, we kept building up our portfolio. I work with Syra. The video, I heard that, bud. <laughs> Mine's coming too, it's just stuck. So it's in my stomach sandwich. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, um, gotta, so regardless, I this over next, next episode because <laughs> we gotta play pong. <laughs> yeah, I know. Bro. Okay, so yeah, that went into project two. I was already working with Ben and Connor for a while. Ben and Connor have been murking the game. If you haven't heard of Project Two Studios, you're you're living under a rock at yeah. this point. It's like they've created some of the best content I personally have have seen in the last three years, um, and that's just. I mean, I, I speak for a lot of people yeah. too. So no, I I, I agree. Um, so it was, a, it was a blessing. I met them. I stayed connected with them, and then it ended up being a, a a relationship that just hasn't ended. We're family at this point now. But and just just a side note for those of you that don't know Project Two, they're out of Manchester, New Hampshire, and they're a video production company. And I think they also at one point when I was talking to them, they were doing like the parties for Google, and like they were doing a lot yeah. more than just parties. They're like an entertainment group, but they are most well known for their videography yeah. work. But but like you just said, their their event coordination that they're doing, yeah. they did one for Google that was, it's if you got, I don't know necessarily if I can, I, I'm pretty sure I can talk about it, it's not, it's already happened. Um, the video, I don't know where I can show you guys, but what they did was next level. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Like, it's like, they're, it. this is here, like they were like up here and yeah. no, and it's just like, some of the things that they've done, man, are so under the radar, but it should be so above the radar yeah. that it's just like, their time's coming, and like I said, oh, yeah, everybody that's worked with them, anybody that knows them, is blessed because it's well. Their their catalog is insane. They got Joiner, they got Chris Brown, Webby. they got Webby, Token, and like I, those are the ones I, I Clan- off the bat, those I are the, the ones show I recognize. Clancy. Clancy's killing it. Too. Oh yeah, Justin Clancy, unbelievable. Clancy's killing it. Yeah, because I heard about them. From- he, he did a video with them too, and that's kind of how I, I heard of Clancy. So it was. It was dope. And and anybody that works with Project Two at a certain level is 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 represented. And and side note, like Project Two, which is like the thing that's crazy about this is um that's how you linked up with Joiner and now you're on tour with Joiner. <laughs> yeah, so real quick because this is this is I need a I need to bridge this. Gap. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, of course. I wouldn't be sitting here or going on tour with Joiner Lucas or doing anything Meeting Joe, partner with Joe, D. Willie wouldn't be wearing that hat if it wasn't for just for kicks, Joe Kelly. Real talk, real talk. I don't care what anybody says. Joe Kelly has connected everything for me. He got me into that yellow house. He got me into Project Two Studios. He got me to film one of the videos with Project Two. Project Two was supposed to film his video, and Joe said, "Fuck you, Ben. Like Trevor's <laughs> filming this, but I still want you guys involved." And Ben directed it. I filmed it. So, you know what I mean? Local celebrity, dude. Local was it? Celebrity. Yeah. Okay. Just for kicks, keep killing my dude. Everybody go follow just for kicks. It's real time. You're not gonna stop hearing about it. It's he's gone. Is he in the comment section? <clears throat> no, no. We do. We did get a couple uh, questions. Is there going to be a Q and A at the end? They want it. Yes, to be there will a be. So we'll be Q&A. taking first. We'll be taking the oh, Instagram God. questions. You really fucked. And then now. we'll have. We'll we'll be taking questions after the break. Um, we'll be a little bit more involved with the questions after on uh, at, later on. But um, I know we also have Instagram questions. So if you want to send an Instagram question on a future episode, you can either go to mine. It's at JB the Canadian, J-A-Y-B the Canadian, or at Shop Bet Podcast. Those are the two locations where we'll be taking questions direct. We will be taking it because right now it's all about a conversation. We want to have a conversation with you guys. Um, but a Please. good chunk of those questions we'll take after the break. So hold on to those questions unless you have something you want to tell us right now. We'll answer them as we go. But the main section is safe word is pineapple. <laughs> and what was the uh, other question? Can I get another beer? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm good, but. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> Told myself I was gonna not. Was there Sorry, no other mom, questions? Love you. Okay. So much. See Perfect. You um. So, so you met Project Two. Yeah. And then, or do we go right into California, or do we? Do you have anything? Because I know you were you were part of all like a lot of the Webby videos. Yeah. And so the token so videos. I I had a lot the Webby videos. So this is just me being a naive uh, asshole like I am sometimes. It's um, okay. I didn't I didn't listen to Webby like at all until people really started <laughs> around here. I think it was so. Can, can we just thank put you, these? Bro. So you, you guys can't see it, but there's three empty beers, and we just were given three more beers. Maybe we should like kind of show that we're we're cr- where we're going. We're we're going we're going places. So. 
Anyways, so <laughs> you worked with all these guys. And so, then, so I started doing behind the scenes photos and videos because in my eyes, the way to like truly like establish a relationship with anybody is to obviously show them your skill and build a relationship. And what better way to do that when filming a video is to get behind the scenes and, yeah. and, and show the real people who are making the video. You know what I mean? Nobody, nobody really exposes them. And you know what I mean? I said, fuck it. These, they're superheroes. Yeah. 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 Like ben and Stinson and Connor, like Stinson holds a, uh, if anybody <laughs> knows or anybody watches my Instagram story, whenever I'm on a shoot, I always show Stinson. It's it's like um, what's that Pokemon character where they had the back thing? Blastoise, bro. <laughs> Dude, look like like Blastoise. He has cannons. A ninety thousand dollar rig on his back. Stinson doesn't weigh like one hundred and fifty pounds wet. I love Stinson to death. He is not a human being. None of them are. They're not human. Yeah. So I obviously was attracted to that. I personally think that I'm an alien too, so I was like, you know what, I want to do it. I want to join forces. So you know what, we did it. And it ended up being a fucking, like I said earlier, a monster. It just doesn't stop. Oh, we got a couple questions yes. in. Uh, one, uh, one question that came in was, we need to get you guys some water and chocolate milk. Whoever uh, said chocolate milk, salute to you, Oakhurst. I'll bet, send you my I bet address. It's Todd. It's Todd. Titty baby. It's Todd. I love you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the other question came in from Liam asking about hot sake. Hot sake? Hot sake. Sorry about hot sake. Oh my god, hot sake in Miami, baby. So listen <laughs> this, to this. This is gibberish to me. <laughs> listen to this. Two weeks before I left on tour with Jordan Lucas, right? I got which is hot. which is still insane. Every time you mention it, I'm gonna be like, that was dope. Baffled. That was cool. But two weeks before I left for the biggest experience of my life. Oh, I think yeah. Okay, I got, I got you. I got flown to Miami to shoot a music video, right? I brought all my equipment down. I was ready to go. I was ready to make a fucking movie, a Michael Bay flick, dude. Like, I was ready to start, do everything. I was about to go all in on it. And I, I straight up, I got, I, got, I got set up and I got robbed, basically, to, to, to cut it. By the, sure. by the person you were going to film? I don't want to speculate. I don't want to talk about it. But it, it's coincidence. But, but yeah, but something, something was fishy that happened down south and all my equipment was stolen two weeks before I left for tour. And... Um, I ended up doing the video. I rented the equipment because of these this kid Liam and Christian. Which shout out if they're watching. These kids basically like saved my shit, and um, and we uh, we went from there. We we ended up renting some equipment and we filmed the video, got the video done, and we went to a restaurant, an Asian place right down the street, and we had sake just to finish off the night. And that was a reason- while between drinks. You guys need to you need you guys need to tell more of your friends about this because. I want to see Trevor get. I know. I'm going to start drinking a little bit more. But if I had sake, it would be donezo. Because the so- I've never had sake before, and these kids, they, they, were, they were nice enough to make me feel at earth and, and settle down after the fact, and they gave me sake. And it was just uh, it was that. I'll never forget that because I don't think I'll ever drink sake again. But drinking that sake at one time during that period of my life, it was something to remember. Shout out to you, Liam. I'll see you soon, buddy. But, yeah, it was... It was wild. It was definitely wild. Something else. Question so, came in. Are you filming any videos at West anytime soon? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Who is yes. that from? Yes. Stoken? Yes. Yeah, I figured it was. Because Stoken's, Stoken's like wants me to come out, which I am coming out, but I know it's Stoken that's 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 looking so for I, us I to kept, get up. I he messes that, up. That was, that, that was Tyler. Tyler Gallant, not Stoken. Who oh, that I'm sorry. Sorry, you didn't it's, hear Kat. Tyler Gallant, who is not Stoken. They're not Yo, one and the same. Nuh-uh. <laughs> no, they, they are? No, but we should have been just calling happening people right now? out. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, everyone. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You just like. <laughs> okay, yeah. I was like, what, dude? There's more than one Tyler Gallant? Stop. <laughs> Watching that dude. <laughs> Stoking They're stuff. commenting to each other, like, fighting. Like, yo, bro, who are you? Like, get out. Dude. Get out of here. Yeah, like, we don't see. They're not telling us. They're just like, dude, there's something going on in the comment section. We're just sitting here, like, going Come on and stuff. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Studying a dress. Dude. Yeah, the dude. real Stoking's not even there. Oh, He's my God, <laughs> bro. Just, it's there's a two other Tyler There's two other Tyler Gallants. And he Gallants. makes beats, but he's, like, an Italian, like, symphony director. It's weird. <laughs> That's how I see it. So it's just like, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, so anyway, so Project Two, they ended up, yeah, they 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 took us under their wing, Joe and I, and um, for whatever reason, they they saw the same vision as us, which is so crazy. Cause I, I re- all right, 
So I will sidebar because I know we're I know we're getting into Joiner Lucas, but one of the coolest things is I remember I think it was my graduation party or like a Memorial Day weekend party, and I remember <coughs> all my buddies from Worcester, um, like shout outs to Danny Phantom and uh, Polly Rotten, they were like hyping this video up, and like you'll probably you'll know pretty soon um, what video I'm talking about, but they were hyping this video up. To the point where, like, I'm local hip hop all day, and I was like, "This is gonna be the craziest. This is gonna shut down Facebook." Oh, and then I'm like going yeah. through it, and I pulled my laptop from my room, brought it into the party where like 50 people gathered around my laptop, and we're watching the Ross video like oh, 20 minutes after it like dropped or whatever, and it's blowing up. And like, this is before like. It became what it is. Like this is where, like, yeah. we were, like, it blew up. Like that next day, you had all over the place. You were with the kids that I was, probably I, knew Joiner well, and then knew the before. the kid and... who was playing Ross in the video. So Joiner was playing the the gang member, yep. and then there was uh, Ross, who was uh, the whole story goes back to gang member yep. initiation is to kill an innocent person or whatever it is, and then the person <laughs> lived to tell the story. Um, he tells it from both perspectives. The kid who played Ross. Is Polly Rotten, which oh, no so and I know him personally. I'm I'm boys with him. I want to get him on on the podcast eventually. But you have to. but I knew him through Dan through um, the Grand Arcanum, which is Danny Phantom, Leon Legacy, and uh, <laughs> uh, um, Gomez. I'm gonna feel bad because Andre. Andre, Andre, that's what it is. Okay. But all three of them used to be in hip hop group, and then. That's where, like, they were hyping up this video, and then all of a sudden from there, he blows up, and then he starts shooting his videos <laughs> in Manchester, which is, uh, after that's signing the to Atlantic, connecting. That's it's, the it's, connecting. It's, it's crazy. We got... <clears throat> so I think we got we to gotta get uh, going for a little bit of a break here in a little bit, but when we come back, they want to know a little bit about your plans for the Limitless Tour Bus, uh, and a shout out for if Danny Phantom taught you how to go ghost. Oh, oh, perfect. Is he in the, is he in the comments? Okay, so we're going to take a quick break. Uh, you want to talk about this artist real quick? Uh, Jalen? Yes. Yeah, so Jalen, um, I feel really bad that I don't know this, but we're uh, flying him out from, uh, where is it? Yeah, yeah, L.A., and um, we're basically doing this music video for him, and he's one of the better artists that I've ever heard in my eyes. And uh, Is this he the works, song? Yeah, this is the song. He works with Montana 300. Montana 300 is still relative. He was a lot bigger a few years ago, but... Their click still making moves, and this is the song that I'm gonna be shooting the video for in a couple of weeks. So please listen to this and tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Pop it in the comments. Tell me what you think when you guys get back, please. <laughs> Jaylin, listen to this.
All right, well, we're back. I hope you like the song. So I just want to clarify. Um, I know a lot of people in the comments are like smashing that like or love button. So just a heads up. Oh, I see a drink for me. I'm just going to drink that. I think you're good. Um, it is only unique likes or loves that will influence the drink. So you can click it a thousand times. <laughs> it won't matter. You'll see You'll see them all floating around. Oh, we're <laughs> me too. <laughs> um, it won't matter. You just gotta get so what you gotta do is get your friends to watch, get anyone else to watch and like it, and then we'll get it. So I know a lot of people last episode were sharing it and saying, spam this, spam this with likes, get everyone over here. So we're only doing unique likes. If you we're not gonna drink 30 times if you click it 30 times. Like you guys are insane. Um Yeah, you crazy <laughs> you hooligans. Crazy. So I know I know the main uh reason like or not the main reason the biggest thing that's going on right now is joining lucas which we dropped off right before the break oh, yeah. so if you want to get into it feel free i have um from his birthday but we'll get to that okay yeah so first shout out to project two for changing my life real talk you know what i mean uh a year ago around uh, a little more than a year ago joiner was doing his 508 tour which was his first uh national tour um, it wasn't crazy big. I think it was like 15 stops on tour. And um, he hired a videographer to go on tour with them. And um, I guess the guy did it. He executed his job. They were coming around to Boston and they needed, or no, Worcester rather. They were coming home and they needed a videographer for the show. And um, they contacted Project Two, obviously. And, and Joyner was like, yo, I need somebody to come film. I just need them to film strictly, nothing else, no photos, nothing. I need him on stage with me, I need him to do his own thing. Start to finish, right when I get there, film. So I did that, I, I met Joyner uh, a year and a half ago at the Palladium in Worcester. Um, I filmed his show, it was unfucking believable Yeah, it was, it looked, dude, he had a mattress in the crowd. So that was that was this year, I'm talking oh, about Oh, you're talking about last year? Yeah, Oh shit, yeah. So that was even pre, pre-mattress, pre we're gonna get to that, which I'm, I hope people know what we're talking about, because that was, no one's done it yet. Joyner Lucas, by the way, crazy hip hop artist, recently signed to Atlantic, I think last year it was? Yeah, and 2017. And he's, he's, <clears throat> the brains behind I'm not racist, which like stirred up so much conversation between yeah. people, which was I, I I remember watching a bunch of reaction videos to that, and you could see all different kinds of people coming out just to talk about this, yeah, where bro. where he and School that was teachers, that was bro, that was the parents. craziest thing, cause like it um it it brought out a debate and it brought out an uncomfortable topic that people were on edge to talk about. What did you just say? Uncomfortable. <laughs> and especially, I, it, I think it was around uh, after Trump was in office and it was just like- It was a tender time. Very tender, it was just right after and there's a white guy and black guy talking about their differences but like it was so provocative that it stirred up controversy and conversation and it was probably one of the most viral videos ever of that year, especially with Trump getting into office. And then video after video after video, he keeps, I love, I I, remember, I think I read into it where he crafts the videos as he makes the songs. Yeah, so he's, and, he's and not, And he's yeah. always thinking on that other level of where is this song and video gonna take me? And it continues on and on. So for those of you that don't know, look up Joyner Lucas, unbelievable and you guys will know even more how unbelievable in a moment he's more he's more than just a musician man too so like it's just and like he just said he's he's thinking about he's directing his movies in his head before he writes the song yeah which is why the ross video alone like come on I, like, you think about, think about the process that needs to go like that needs to take place in order for that to happen it's not a walking down the street video no. it's it's not a party video it's it's a movie 
In a, yeah, in, in a three and a half minutes or whatever. That's too much. So, yeah, like I said, I, I was editing, um, or no, yeah, I was editing a video while they were editing the, the footage from the concert because all of us were there filming. I just happened to be the guy that was with Joyner all day. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I was, I was him. I was his guy. Um, before, I was actually his guy. You know what I mean? So it was weird. Um, and I remember I was showing Joyner my drone footage because I was capturing his first line that was around the entire block. It was the first ever line that he's ever seen that long, and I had my drone up in the air. But the funny story is, is that I crashed the drone. Yeah. So I crashed the drone, hit the wall, hit the palladium, and fell and started land on the crowd. Luckily, there was no people in the crowd that was mad at me, so they were like, all right, whatever. I showed Joyner that footage, and he puts his arm around me as he's watching this footage, and he's like, this is what I want. This is what I need. So I'm sitting there like, my heart's pumping because, like, if anybody knows Joyner, he's just, he's a, you know what I mean? He's a, he's a big dude, and he's just... He, He's Jordan or Lucas, you know what I mean? He's, there's no one that can really compare to him, so it's kind of nuts. It's like, chime in, let's do it. So we're getting a little bit of, uh, there's the resurgence of the comment of Justin's drinking Kool-Aid, uh, <laughs> red Kool-Aid, and that uh, you're much more sober, this one. Uh, there's also Whoa. a poll coming out for bring back the angry emoji. Up, uh, they want the angry emoji for the shots. So. All right, so if we, so I'm gonna up to ante because you guys hit 30 pre pretty quickly. If you guys can hit 40 angry emojis. I'll do a shot. 40. Nothing less. If we if we can get 40, I'll do a shot. He probably won't. I'll do a shot. I'll do get, a shot. If there are right, listen, if there's You want to bump it up to 50? 40? Wait, so if there's 40 within how much in how much of a period of time? By the end. By the end. Will I see uh, an angry emoji right there? No, but we'll we'll have our guys on call. Okay. For it. Okay. You think they can do 40? 45. I mean, we're, we're only at, look, I'm at 40 at 34. There's no way you just got another Stop. drink. Stop. <laughs> so, if we can get 40 angries, we'll do it. 45. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. All right, 40. 40. That was me jumping the gun. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. If we can get 40, we'll do it. If you guys can't do it, well, that sucks. Second dick. Second dick. Right. <laughs> so, um... I'm waiting to see this thing go up if there's anything. We won't know. Okay, so it would just come don't up. Don't even give me a face. If you I'm, guys see, just climb up the number. Just like, trust me, like nothing's happening. I, and it's all unique. It's 40 unique. Like, it has to and say 40. And then question and answers. You guys get to... Are you kidding me? They get to ask us questions the, while we're fucking tossed? Come on. <laughs> come on. So if you get 40, it's unique. You can click it as many times. If you don't get your friend to click it, it doesn't count. I like that. That's smart. I think one of the questions that I have around this is you talked about the drone footage, yep. crashing the drone. Are you seeing as a videographer a uh, kind of resurgence, or not even a resurgence, but a start of artists using drones to capture crowd size or even just to get more unique shots than the standard um, kind of concert footage? Yeah. So, I mean, I was doing it for the line. Obviously, it was the concert footage entirely, but I was like... I was thinking more so how I can get like a crazy shot and go between the tree, you know what I mean? Get as close to the building as I can. So now what kids are doing is they're racing drones, but they're taking those kids that are racing the drones and putting cameras on the drones that race, and they're getting cinematography shots using those. So okay. people are approaching this at a way beyond what I'm thinking, and they're like trying to think like go 45 miles per hour next to a car, swoop in the car's windows as it's driving type of thing. Like people are getting really intricate with this. So <laughs> I personally don't think I'm ever gonna use drones beyond that because well you're I just, crashing into buildings. yeah i just crashed and this was like it was my first drone but it was like come on it was like you didn't have to do this it, it was, it was I, that's, a, that's you a guys question, can though. see me pouring it's not kool-aid i'm drinking orange soda it looks red <laughs> hashtag kool-aid kool-aid gate i think it's going kool -Aid on. Kool -Aid gate it's going on so i think one of the common questions is did you have to pay him back for that drone I think the big piece is you broke it. Did it? Is it still functional? Did he make you pay for it? No, it was his drone. No, that was oh, it was his drone. drone. It was his drone. That was my drone, and he just laughed. No, he didn't. Pay, <laughs> he didn't pay for it. He didn't think about it. No, he just. I think he was more so like this kid just oh, broke his it is. thousand yeah, it dollar like drone, and then. Crazy. Oh, what it looks like Kool Aid. Yeah, it does. I mean, I'm I'm down for the Kool Aid. I can assure I'll... you, it's not Kool Aid because I'm not drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I'm not sipping that. So. Um. I'll so, be fucked up if I drink that. I can tell you that right now. So it's real. when did when did that happen that you <clears throat> joined or picked you up for tour life? Yeah, so I was okay, so I was sitting editing, he saw me, came up to me, and he was like, Whoa, you made this? I showed him a little clip that I had. It was in a way, aesthetically, if anybody's watched the video that I made of JB, mm -hmm. it was somewhat similar to that, except a different setting, obviously. Um, and he obviously got thrown off by it and he was he was amazed by it. 
I got two. <laughs> you got one. So I was sitting in my in the yellow house. This is a this is a mind blowing story because if anybody ever gets the yellow house, that yellow house is the value I personally think went up because we were in there and we as a combined collective, right? It made it that much more better. But I was sitting there on my computer. I was a little messed up. It was two months after that fact. I was like, oh, what the hell is going on with my life? I'm still working at Sprint or whatever, blah, blah, blah. I get a FaceTime from Joyner Lucas. Like a FaceTime. Which is... So at that time, I wasn't close to Joyner. Like, I, like I, I've i seen him. He knows me. You know what I mean? But it wasn't I like... Think, I think the most famous person to FaceTime me is my mom. Dude. So. But, that's, <laughs> but mom's always famous. She's always first. I love you, mom. FaceTime me in the morning. Love you, mom. Hashtag um, Mr. Bergeron. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Boom. <laughs> Moms are the best. Bro. Moms are the best. And um, and that was that. He FaceTimed me and he asked me if I want to go on tour, which was with um. Shit. Well, it was really originally. It was originally Chris Brown. No, it was Joiner and oh Dizzy Wright. Dizzy Wright, yeah. Dizzy Wright, oh, yeah. So I I and I even DM Dizzy Wright's uh, photographer. I was getting all the scoop from him. You know what I mean? Trying to find out what I needed, like how much underwear I should pack. Like no real <laughs> shit though. Like I was thinking, you don't think about that. dude, you don't think about that, but I sweat. I'm sweating right now, bro. Need some new underwear. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just kidding. That's disgusting. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, seriously though, we thought about those things. Like I was, I was asking, like, yo, do I need what? How many clothes do I need a week? How many pairs of socks do I need? You know what I mean? Yeah. I was going to say, you just said new underwear is disgusting. I was just... <laughs> it's, it's an unbelievable feeling to put on new underwear. It's not disgusting. <laughs> just throwing that out there. Fuck it. Are we at 40? Are we even close? You guys are looking for f like oh, angry. We're at 90. Oh, what? shout out to Arthur. Arthur's the reason why we got the 30 last episode because oh he just went running for people and said, We need to get these guys shots. So, Arthur, if you're out there, get me 40. I bet you you won't. Shot bet. If you don't get me 40, you got to take two shots. It's only fair. Anyways, continue. Where's that again? Just pick me up. We were sitting at 13 angries. Yeah, there's nothing. Get get me to 40. If you can't get to 40, you guys suck. <laughs> All right, so. Dizzy so, Wright Tour. Yeah, so you're reaching out for photographer. Joiner, and Joiner canceled the Dizzy Wright Tour because Joiner sees the future, right? Joiner knew that he was going to work with Chris Brown. And I can talk about this now because it's already happened. It's Everyone knows about it. At the time, I, I, had, I, mean, I had to like make sure that the NDAs were falling. Right? Yeah, 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 of course. Um, couldn't say anything. We ended up friggin' Basically getting talked into going to California, which wasn't even getting talked into. They told us, you guys want to do this? We're like, yeah, let's go. Yeah. Um, Chris Brown asked Joyner <coughs> if, they wanted, if they wanted to do a, a song together. So Joyner flew out there and did a song, and Chris Brown and them clicked. Like, clicked. Yeah. Like, I'm talking like I'm talking like playing basketball and shit in his living room. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just doing a full-out Chris which Brown Which I'm night. so pissed. Like, the fact that you can play basketball in your living room is dude. bullshit and to Chris me. Chris Brown's good, dude. <laughs> He's Yo, dunking on Joyner. He's good. He's good at everything Thank he does. Thank you guys for the Well, likes. I'll get into that. What do I what do I what I'm talking about? But like, it's different. It's a different level of human being when you when you when you see what they're actually doing. Um, but yeah, he, he you know what I mean. He was like, I'm not going on tour with uh, with um, Dizzy Wright. I, I'm gonna go do this video with Chris Brown, and then I'm gonna go do my own tour. So if you're if you're smart, you know what I mean. You're you're thinking right now exactly why he did that. It was smart. It was yeah. it was a mark. Well, yeah, because well, what happens too is like. I think I think the th the the what drew so many people about the first video is Chris Brown. I remember back in the day he was doing like mixtapes with Tyga, and you kind of saw his rapping on there. But Joyner Lucas is so technical, and his precision and and speed in some in some especially in some songs. Chris Brown came in and brought his A game and matched like Joyner. never before. Like never before, and people were blown away by just like the skill that Chris brings because he typically just does like pop singing songs. Exactly. So then all of a sudden he's bringing this raw hip hop vibe, and then Joyner's already like on the up and up, yeah, and exactly. then all of a sudden he connects with a superstar like Chris Brown who aligns himself and is is on the same almost the same level mm -hmm. and up to par with Joyner's level and then all of a sudden crushes it and then now we have more viral sensations you see how back smart to back Joyner to back, is back to back. It's it's crazy. You see how smart he is? It is. It's it's you, He's you not gotta, this isn't a coincidence. This isn't like, oh my God, I heard of one song. Like I need to I need to talk to my manager to get Joyner a feature. Yeah. It's like I need Joyner to basically leverage what I want to do 
next, and I want to and I want to maintain consistency. And he and Joyner, Chris Brown, like I said, he's on the up and up, and then all of a sudden he uses, he, he like. Chris Brown had was slow for a second too, and then he kind of leveraged himself in with this new cat. And you see it a lot with some of the artists that like are like are not being mentioned all the time. And then all of a sudden you see this new cat who everyone without a doubt can say is talented. He's gotten ups from Eminem to Busta Rhymes to Chris Brown, like all these top level cats, and it's. Chris Brown recognized that, and Joyner recognized that Chris Brown, they're both going to build off of each other. And yeah, I think did. you always need to do cross promotion. It's just like right now. You know what I mean? Like, I, I do my thing, you do my thing, you do your thing, and then all of a sudden, we cross promote it's and the right then bring something together. It's the yeah. right energy. Yeah. It's, 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 all about, it's all about the energy. If you don't feel right about something, you don't do it. Simple as that. Yeah. If you have to second guess yourself, you don't do it. You yeah. just can't do it. It just yeah. doesn't make sense. But with Joyner and Chris, that was so first nature. It was it's like just, yeah. it was like they grew up knowing that if they ever had the time and place to like actually meet as kids, they would be best friends. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, twenty something years later. I'm before all right, so we're gonna get a chime in, but I still wanna call out Arthur Chen because I do not see forty angry emojis. So that means you're struggling to get even forty people to pay attention to us. So I'm gonna keep calling him out until we get to that point. Arthur Jesus Christ, brother. <laughs> unless, unless you're chiming in to tell me there's 40, then I'm going <laughs> to... Could you imagine? It's 40. No, it's actually, we're sitting at 14 right now. Uh, yeah, Arthur, you're not even close. Don't I, even... I will say with almost as many likes and emotes, uh, we have a question coming in from uh, Brandon no, saying, my how brother. do you feel about autonomous robot dogs and will they replace real dogs? <laughs> real Depends Why on how cute they are. Depends on how cute yeah. they are. I need the, to answer that. Particular that, so, that one comment had almost as many angry emotes. <laughs> just saying. So if we can get to so, forty, so, uh, as many likes as the robot dog comment. So I will say right now, it won't if it sticks to the robotic skeleton, like an exoskeleton only. But if they find a way to resemble dogs more often, I say yes. You know what I'm thinking? This is, this is, this is mind blowing in my eyes. You know how dogs can't drink chocolate milk? <laughs> they how, can if how, they're robotic. How much is Oakhurst paying? Are they just like, oh, hey, just you come, on, come on to this talk limitless, hey, Oakhurst, but also watching, chocolate milk? If you're ever hey, watching this, you know what's funny? I want to get branded by Oakhart. That's why we see the text right in the middle. You want to be picked up by Oakhurst. Oakhurst. The best chocolate milk in the entire world. The best rum in the entire world. Bacardi, sponsor me, please. So I want chocolate milk. He wants the rum. Can we make something happen? Thank you. Rum and chocolate milk. Perfect combination. Uh, who's? We have a we have a correction coming in. Brandon did say Doge. Doge, not, dog. not oh, dogs. Oh, Doge. Doge, not Wait, dogs. Wait, so I, the what is a Doge? The robotic dogs are going to replace Doges, is or is it a robotic Doge that replaces Doges? No, no, no. Well, they already have robots making Doge memes, so. Yo, I'm so out of it. Not the same. Bro, bro, you guys. <laughs> Another level. <laughs> Live limitless. This is out of my hands. We're we're in this room and watching just minds be blown by Doge versus autonomous robots right now. If, if you like hot. Doges, hit that angry button. <laughs> And don't forget, guys, we're going to be covering a couple Instagram questions coming up yes, in a little bit. Yes, it's coming up. Uh, we just got to get to join, uh, continue joiner. Continue joiner. Which is... Where did we begin? So you're still on... <laughs> we already began. I know, we did begin. <laughs> so you're on tour. Yeah. He so links I, up with Chris Brown. No, so this is beforehand. Then, yep. he, beforehand, he links up with Chris Brown, music video. We shoot his music video. Chris Brown is cool with us all of a sudden. Like He gets us. He understands us. We're from New Hampshire. It's it's like a total different world for him. He doesn't, yeah. He doesn't get that we just came all the way from there to do this for him. So, but once he did, he respected. It, and it was awesome. Um, regardless, we filmed two videos for Chris Brown. Got really close with Chris Brown. I'm very good friends with Chris Brown's photographer now, which is dope. And like every time I'm out in I LA, I link up with. Can, can we just say this that you're just like, like, <laughs> you're just on Chris Brown's name like it's nothing. Like I can't even throw your name around like it's, it's nothing. It's different. It's like it's different though. Like I, I, I'm humble as fuck, dude. Like I said, I, when I met Chris Brown, I was obviously like fanboying a little bit, but like, dude, he's literally a human being that just is in the spotlight and fucked up. You know what I mean? He fucked up. He fucked up. He did fuck up. Yeah. 
So like I know there's probably some people in here that are probably like, fuck Christian. Yeah, but he, like, there's also a nice a little human. bounce back too. Yeah, like, I know he did. He, and he's doing it right by yeah. working with Joiner and anybody that works with Joiner right now is smart because they know what's happening. They see it. I know what's happening. Anybody that's part of the team knows what's happening. And it's just we're part of the ride and it's it's happening. But yes, I we filmed Chris Brown, time went on. Dizzy's tour got canceled when it comes down to Joiner and Dizzy. Joiner asked me if I want to go on a solo tour. I ended up going on a national tour, Joiner. Fuck you. We have just crossed cool. 21 angry emotes. <laughs> just wanted to call out that only 19 Let's more. Let's go! 19 more. Arthur, you ain't them. shit. You yo, ain't shit. Yo, titty tough. You ain't shit, You boy. ain't shit. Let's go. All right, so you're on tour. I'm on tour with Chris <laughs> Fuck. I mean, Chris Brown. I imagine that. <laughs> I'm on tour with Chris Brown, baby. <laughs> Joiner is nobody. This is, see, this is what's great. This is the name of the game. It's we fun. have a good time, and then now, now we're in it. Now yeah. we're now we're in it. That's it's real it. shit. It's real shit. Um, yeah, I went on tour with Joiner. It was it was unreal. I met I met people that like I never thought I was ever gonna meet in my life for certain reasons. Um, whether it was somebody who who caught my mistakes and caught my my negativity and fixed that real quick. I want to give a huge. Massive shout out to DJ E Double. He's 94.5's DJ. He was joining his DJ and tour. Um, me and him butted heads. That's how you met. Fuck it. I'm so pissed. You meet Fat Joe. We'll get into And that. then all of a sudden I'm on I'm on I'm on Facebook and it's just like, here's a picture of Fat Joe. I'm like, oh, fuck Dude, you. We gotta get into that because he's a he's a he's that's another in a little small story but he's another story. Um, Dubs changed my Dubs Dubs changed my life basically. He he. Uh, he told me what I did wrong, and he corrected it. And I, for whatever reason, I took it for I took it and I, I ran with took it. it and now, run, yeah. yeah, bro, it was crazy. So shout out to E Double if you ever listen ninety four five late at night. D E Dubs is always on. Um, and yeah, it's when I always hear my joiner too. Dude, it's starting. Late night, it's all starting. The time. Like yeah. if anybody's watching this right now, it is starting. I know it seems like yeah, he's with Chris Brown, but no, Joiner Lucas. It's gonna be a household name. Like it's it. Well, yeah. We're, well, and it's we'll talk about right it in now. a second too, yeah. because yeah, he he definitely took another step. Another level, yeah. and that's that's all I was telling you. Everything's levels. Everything is levels. Anybody that's listening, if they can recognize uncomfortability and take that and just make it energy, Run with bro, it, yeah. and take it for levels, you're gonna do what I'm doing. It's just you're not gonna be a joiner. Like I'm sorry, I got joiner. <laughs> I got I got joiner. Oh, but you got pause, a drink. Yes, pause. Very big pause. <laughs> we're gonna get into that. Yeah. But yeah, it was a it was a it was a life changing experience. I got the my biggest takeaway from that tour wasn't like obviously chilling with Jordan was cool, meeting all these artists was cool. I want to get into Hobson right after this, but meeting literally different human beings from all around the country was one of the coolest things I've ever experienced in my entire life. Like ever superstars, my, bro. Not even that though. Like literally people, like, people like, like you, me and you, like you, yeah. like you, like dude. It was like it was unbelievable to go across to Seattle and be like, yo, what's your story? Like, to be able to just talk to somebody from Seattle and explain to them my story. It was just, it was, it was really cool to, to find out that there's other people in this world that were just as cool and, and chill as the people I was with. It was cool. Yeah. So it was, it was real. Um, and then Hobson. I want to jump right into Hobson. All right. I want to jump right hop, into Hobson. Hop into Hobson. I want to chill right into Hobson. Yeah. I was chilling in New York City. Which, with, again, a big um, fuck you. <laughs> with, dude, come on, bro. I'm be, dude, if, I'm begging you. If anybody's watching, like I said, just take everything I'm saying and run with it. Just don't. Uh, just run. Just do what you're doing and run with it. Arthur, you ain't shit. Titty, baby, you ain't shit. <laughs> um, that's Titty Toth, by the way. Anyways, uh, I was with Funkmaster Flex, who's he's a huge DJ in the hip-hop game. I didn't know him until New York City. I didn't know of him, though. Seriously, I didn't know of him. How fucked up is that? Um, and all of a sudden, I was I had on the rider. I made sure that Drew, I like I made sure who's joined his manager to put on Skittles for the rider, because in every green room there's all these healthy foods and shit. And I'm like, dude, like come on, bro. Like if I'm trying to be healthy, I would have come on tour healthy. You know what I mean? <laughs> there's no change in it once we're on tour. So I was like, dude, Skittles, please. I know we can't just request chocolate milk. So I asked for Skittles. And so from there on out, there were Skittles on the rider in every green room, just a big bag of Skittles. So every single beginning of the, the show, I would always go in the green room, just get my shit ready, organize a little bit, watch Sean Money, who's G-Unit's fucking creator, dude, which is mind-blowing. Um, he'd watch me and be like, dude, this kid's psycho. I'd be taking the reds out of the Skittle bag. For who? For myself. <laughs> that For is myself. I would literally take out the reds out of the Skittle bag and the purples out of the Skittle bags and put them in another bag just so I could run around the rest of the show with the Skittles. <laughs> 
So I was doing that in New York City, and there were so many people in this room because New York City, there was all joiners management there, like all the big wigs there. So we had to obviously like somewhat keep a, like a professional like attitude, and I was eating Skittles. So it was like, all right, I got to do this really quick. So I was taking Skittles out of the bag, bro. And Hobson was sitting right next to me and I had no idea. And I hear somebody saying, what are you doing, bro? And I'm sitting there like... <laughs> Like, what I the hate fuck? you so and much. I, but you no, just like but listen. I and I'm straight up. I don't like. I'm not a huge hip hop head. Like I, I got into it probably because of yeah, all yeah, you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm sitting there. Like I know Hobson because of the face, not because of the music. So I'm sitting there like starstruck. Like, yo, what the <laughs> fuck is happening? Like, and he's like, he's like, I see what you're doing. Can I have some? I give him all my reds, dude. Because I just started counting the reds. I give him all my reds. So we engaged because he noticed that I was taking all those Skittles, all those the good colors out of the Skittle bag, and he knew that like I was that human being that was gonna help him out. And I gave him the it was either red or it was one of the red or purple. It was whatever was I'm, in my hand. I'm, so he I knew that he note, wanted to do that. You know what I mean? Skittles, you fucked up. Yo, you I'm gonna fucked I'm gonna up. rant right now. Skittles, you fucked up Crazy. by changing green from lime to apple, green apple. Oh wow, what? Fu yeah, because you would do the combination. You'd be like, oh, I'm going to do the lemon lime, green and yellow, yep. and do a Sprite in my mouth. But no, now it's like a sour lemon That's a little that tastes odd. like apple. Yo, was, Skittles. Fuck you, Skittles. Fuck you. <laughs> titty fuck you. <laughs> titty talk. Titty talk. Not titty. Titty talk. Titty talk. Titty talk, baby. So... <sighs> But that was I, that. And I have a quick clip, and I, I don't know if you want to talk yeah. about Joyner while I play Let this. Let me just make sure so it's what it is. It's uh, the clip you sent me from his birthday. Okay, yeah, yeah. So so he took this was from the Palladium. Yep. unbelievable picture of Joyner with his kid, and he framed it and gave it to him on his birthday. What, his near the end of his birthday. tour? No, this was just this was just now. But I mean, during the end of the tour, you gave it to him? No, I gave that to him literally on his birthday. I waited all this time for after, a special yeah, moment. After yeah, the after tour, the after tour. After everything, yep. on his so birthday. So after I made a relationship with Joyner and I did this and I did this for him. Let's see. Which is, yeah. this is crazy. I have it on loop, so you can no, that's, you can that's go ahead and talk about this. So literally, so the picture's it was, on the left and right, if you if you didn't notice. Yeah, it, it, this was kind of weird, because literally right when I took this photo, I knew, like, within, like, I looked at it, and I never look at my photos after, but I looked like, at look it. Like, look at this picture, and look at the framing, look at, like, the negative space. It's Joyner, perfect. Joyner's child, his kid, who's one of the smartest little kids I've ever met in my entire life, his name is Joyner. Okay, so he's So Joyner, that's little Joyner, Joyner yeah. yeah. And that dude, that kid, man... That kid puts a smile to your face, dude. I, I, like, it's unreal. Like, look at this picture. Unreal, bro. That's it's it's unbelievable. So I told him I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna blow this up for you. He probably was just like, yeah, whatever, dude. You'll do that. A year later, after I did all this for him, I did it. I thought that was the most meaningful time to do it. So yeah. I said, let's do it on your birthday, on his on his house that he just bought his family. Like, you know what I mean? And with his first, I'm I'm thinking his first official team. That he is recognizing as family, like which I, I remember seeing that you put you put. So if you guys want to follow him, it's at Trev Finney Finna. Trev Finna. T R E V F I N N A. Finna. Yeah, like I'm Finna. Get some chocolate milk N -N after I drink yep. all this beer. And <laughs> and follow him because he posts behind the scenes clips of all these crazy. I, I try to I try to give people the most exclusive behind the scenes, like right next to Joiner yeah. type of shit. Like I, I try so hard. And oh, you I, gotta drink. Yeah. Quickly. Arthur, you still ain't shit. I'm gonna keep saying it. So there's a little bet going on that you guys can get 40 angry emoji emojis. Lit. Lit. <laughs> um if you guys can hit that 40, we'll take a shot, but I don't think you guys have it in you, so second dick. Do you have a question from Second Dick Top? No, just a fact check. Uh Question was, uh, have you eaten Skittles Long Lost Lime, uh, a limited edition flavor where they brought lime back? Uh, <laughs> and if you didn't, you're just like all the Amazon shoppers who betrayed Toys R Us. <laughs> Yo! That's wild. <laughs> I don't know. I'm also, there's a link there. to them in, Am for in Amazon if you want to buy them and then make Justin eat those lime Skittles. Put it in the comment section and we'll, we'll order them. And uh, let's go into Instagram questions. So right now we're going to take questions from you guys um, on Instagram. If you guys want to interject and ask other questions, please comment below. Uh, comment below. And we're going to go with the first question, which this one comes from Dave Deming. And he says, what's your favorite and least favorite aspect of this business? 
of this business. Of the business you're in with business videography and everything. The business that I'm in. What is the least favorite aspect of... Th oh, my God. There's so many, man. I will say, if we're talking about podcasts, just, just to also chime in on the question, the thing that upsets me, because I'm just starting, the lack of support, but the outcry... So I have so many people since the first episode that were like, I want to be on the podcast. I want to like have a conversation. But then I'm like promoting and like streaming... 100% guaranteed they're not there supporting. No. But they're going to like reach out and be like, "Hey, like uh can I be part of this? Can I be, you know, can I can Selfish I do an episode?" I'm bit, like, yeah. "No, fuck you." But this is so fun. I love that's, I I love having a conversation. That's, that's my favorite cuz right now this back and forth is I love it. No, I, it's perfect. It, it, this is what makes things happen. But um what you just said, I think sums up what I was going to say is relationships. Mm -hmm. My biggest thing right now with this business um like my favorite thing and my worst favorite thing is be is the relationship side of it because there's a difference between business and being friends and for me doing this video stuff in in where i was in london dairy it became uh, a friendship and then we tried to bring business inside of friendship mm -hmm. and it was like almost like i'm trying to conduct business and i know you're trying to conduct business too but uh, obviously on a lower scale yeah, yeah, yeah we're friends yeah so for me to charge you what i'm supposed to be charging a normal person it's almost impossible so and that's just one aspect of relationships but then people expect it too so there's a difference you might you might throw me a bone but then there's other people similar to me that you have a like uh relationship with and they'll expect that bone to be tossed yeah. but they're not necessarily they shouldn't be. You know what I mean? Like it's 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 but it's it's, it's all about the good relationships. Yeah. If you don't have a good relationship, it's 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 done. And I have my another thing that I want to bring up on is in business. I don't care who you are. If you're doing it by yourself, I think you're lying. Mm -hmm. I think that there's always a good partner behind something you're doing. There's always something that's solid structure, something a foundation that's building it. Whether it's a mentor or it's an investor. Um, mine's obviously Joe Joe Corker, and he's my business partner. Um, that's probably my favorite aspect of this business is knowing that I have like a, a business partner that I can trust and I can actually build something with and not just say that we're going to build something and then not do it. It's like, it's fun. It's, and it's, if he it's wasn't a, it's here, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real game. And if he wasn't here, what's your favorite? <laughs> what's your no, favorite? I'm, just, I'm just messing with you, Joe. Um, Fuck you, Joe. So I guess we'll go to the next question. Thank yeah, you, please. Dave. That was a good question. Dave, we still need to talk interns. But can I just throw this in real quick? Yeah. Because Dave wants to intern. I'm looking for interns for Limitless. Okay. Um, in Project 2, we're, we're looking literally to expand. Um, we're literally you looking for to. interns. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we're at the point now where it's it's literally like we got to... Dill, do you hear that? Yeah, we got to we gotta really take on the right people. Um, you're not getting paid <laughs> per hour. Yeah. You're not getting paid per hour. It's not like that. You're going to get you're gonna get these experiences and you're going to build your, your life based off what we're yeah. doing. And it's going to be a fun experience if you join forces with us. By the way, we're really close, and I really hope you take the shot. <laughs> Let's go. Because oh, you're, you're at 42, I'm at 47. All right, so we're going to go to the next question, unless we got something in the comments. Again, say something in the comments if you want to hear from us. We're going to keep going with Instagram, but if you have something to say, let us know. Um, oh, so this is a perfect. <laughs> this is from our sound girl, because she... All hey. week, all week has been hearing me bump Eminem's new album. I did too. Me, Eminem can do no wrong. That's point blank. He's a huge inspiration, and his new album, especially, he features Joiner Lucas. He goes Joiner goes from Worcester to Chris Brown to Eminem, the top of the top. You see what Joiner? You, you see what Eminem's doing though? It's bodies, smart. and it's it's just it's smart. it's what's well, the same thing? It's almost, and I don't want to like bash Eminem, but like he hit a low with revival, especially with the way he addresses it. So he must have really gotten hit from his perspective. Yeah. But then you have Chris Brown, who's kind of in a lull, and then he pulls Joiner Lucas, who's on fire. Everything he touches is on fire. You have a Drake, um, and then all of a sudden Eminem is shouting him out time and time again and then all of a sudden he pops up on the new album and s hits top viewed song uh He's august 31st one number one in the world right now right now Jonah lucas has the number one song in the entire world which is insane out of anybody 
it's, and it's, it's 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 unbelievable. It's, it's, so I've been bumping it nonstop. I love the album. Uh, there's a couple points where I'm like, eh, but I feel about that that way. Like yeah, I feel like there's yeah. always filler with stuff. At least for me, there's some things I look for. But like the lyricism, the tech, like technic technical aspect is unbelievable, front to back. It's it's so, it's a dope album, it, hands down. And you know more than me. I I just got into hip hop, which is absolutely absurd. I've known who Eminem is. Yeah. And everyone, let's get, let's get these angries up. Ready let's for get this? These you angries. ready for this? I have never listened to a full album in my entire life. By never. Eminem or no ever. Period. I have never listened to a full album in my entire life. You want me? You want me to piss people off? Let's keep going with the angry. All right. We're so go back and forth. I have never listened to. I don't like Nas. Okay. Not a fan. I can't get into him. Like I have to go out of my way to listen to him. He has some good songs, but I cannot listen to Nas. And I know there's so many That's... old school hip hop heads and a, a bunch of people that have given me shit, but I can't get into it because I lived in Canada for the first 10 years of my life. So when I came here, the Tupac and Biggie thing were long gone. Nas yeah, was okay, like, yeah, yeah. his albums were like, you know, before I even came here. So the first real hip hop I even knew about was Eminem. Eminem was the first one, and I remember, I remember my parents knowing the controversy behind him, and what they would do was turn down the volume when he would play on the radio, yes, like okay, my so name yeah, is and stuff. 100%. And I remember me and my brother were, you Thanks know, like we're sitting there in our car seats and we're bent over to the speaker to hear like the volume at level two, That's some real shit. barely <laughs> like listening That's... to it and being like, what is this that they're toning down? And then Eminem fan. And then it just came out that way. So like, so yeah. Anyways. So this hit. So when this came out, this was like holy fuck. Eminem just dropped an album, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For me, it wasn't like that. It was. It was not like. Join that. it. Oh but wait, it was, wait, wait, but, no. but it wasn't period, even like that. Period. It was just like okay, that's the level, dude. When I say I'm so new into hip hop, you. You, I filmed your videos. Like, <laughs> you guys literally have gotten As me D -Dwilly. Into seriously, and have probably half of you guys watching too. Seriously though, uh, Davon, dude, like yeah. you know what I mean. Like I never, I never was into hip hop as much as I am now. Yeah, because of you guys. And now I'm, I'm, and I'll admit it because and I'm now, not gonna sit now here you're in it deeper than we probably will ever be. Exactly. So I'm trying to like really get so Nas. Like I'm sitting here like, okay, how can I like, how can I be like, yo, yeah, dude, like Nas. I'm like, no, I have no history of Nas. <laughs> nothing. nothing. I've heard of him. Yeah, yeah, of course. Cause like, I'm not like, you know, I don't live in a rock, but like, I don't sit here and I'm not like, oh my God, this album, like, you know what I mean? It's just not me. I, and I don't know if critique me, whatever, do what you want, but it's not me. Talk I love shit. music. I love comment music. section. Talk shit because please, you can't. I, think, I think one of the asses like where you're saying you haven't listened to a full album. Is it because um, is there a trend in music now where a lot of it is singling out albums? I mean, Katy Perry was one of the first you know pop stars to literally single and chart an entire album. She just pieced it out over years to do it. So do you not listen to a full album because? at some point it's just not drawing you because there's phenomenal well, albums like Pink Floyd right Pink Floyd had this story rock operas is what it was told like American Idiot rock opera which turned into a Broadway show or uh, Black Parade by My Chemical Romance rock opera those are albums that people listen front to back because they tell a story so do you find yourself not listening to albums because you hear some of it and then you don't want to get through or, or what's what has not what has so, prevented you from finishing so say I, say I, I didn't know Joyner and I put in Eminem's album. I go through the first five songs, right? I hear a song that I like. It's checked off. That's it. Yeah. And I don't need see, to find another song that I think is going to surpass that because most likely, if I'm if I'm turning back that song two or three times, right then and there, I'll listen to it eventually. But like, there'll never be a song that's going to hit me see, like that. See, I think it. I think it's and partially weird, a generational but. thing because it's partially the fan base the audience's fault and the marketing and artistry part and like labels because i feel the album has kind of concaved over the years where before you wanted to put together an album and concept and put it all together but albums don't necessarily sell as well as singles that's do. true so, they're not so, pe much effort so people are sense. looking yeah exactly they put so much effort into these music videos and singles and that's where all the focus is that's why you have soundcloud rappers with these Blowing songs the that blow up, up yep. and then Facts. all of a sudden I True. bump an album by them and I'm like, I can't stand 90% of this is you'll because turn it off. you'll turn it off. And it's because 90% of it 
is just filler. And it's those two singles that are going to sell the album. They're going to be money pieces for them. And that's what they concentrate on is just making this one song that's going to do well. Or, or, or the song already blew up, so they're trying to monetize it through making another album and hope something else because there is some value with, like, there is power in numbers. So if you put 100%. out a 20-song album, it's likely that a song or two is going to go viral because, like, for instance, take Drake and My Feelings. So Shig I think it's Shiggy did the Shiggy challenge, Shiggy dance okay, yeah, um, that's yeah, yeah. Out, outside of the car. And that song was kind of a throwaway song on the album upon first listen compared to all the music videos. And then all of a sudden that challenge comes out and then it's the Ooh, number one song. Yeah. So then, it's funny how it but works. it's because there is power and quantity and it's just, it's just very interesting how everything goes. But uh, thank you, Kat, and thank you, uh, Commenter. That was dope. Huh? So one of the questions that are coming in is uh, around clickbait videos. Uh, one being, like, for instance, you know, this white rapper spits flames. Like, is it clickbaiting titles? What are your opinions on that? Being, All right, especially let's... Justin, who's in the scene. Well, it just pisses me off that there's double black bar videos all day. Like, I get it. I get it. Numbers pull in attraction. Like, seeing, like, I mean, I didn't hear about Token until it was, like, the 13-year-old rapper that kills that, title, that, that title. kills rap god and like it does pull in attention but at the same time it's like it's overdone be original do something else but at the same time it pulls in views so like are, are you wrong is are the artists wrong no. for doing that because it's going to get them more views or are we wrong for pushing that stereotype it's i think it's half and half which is kind of crazy i think that the the average the average person I, I don't I don't I don't know man I think yeah. that's like a it's like a tough question that kind of it's a chicken or the egg type of situation what came first so is it the audience that perpetuated the stereotype to always go after clickbaity stuff or is it the artists that are just doing the mundane things to get clicks because it's so much it's so easy to do I'm gonna rap fast I'm gonna yeah, do like no, this or that and it's been going on for ages I mean Papoose like one of the like originators for, of this kind of clickbait type of thing, he does the alphabetical slaughter and it does all it does the alphabet it rhymes all these words starting with A, then starting with B, then starting with C. That's something you would see today, That's and smart. like and like it's 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 to get clicks. But again, who's to blame? It's 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 hard. It's how it's you hard do to, it. If 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 it's clickbait and then they go into it and it's a 15 minute long video and there's no content, no substance, and, you fucked up. Yeah. But if it's clickbait and it gets you to actually get somebody else to watch it. Yeah. Times 10, that's why I win. love Joiner. That's why I love Joiner is because, like, he's clickbait without being clickbait. Like the content's there yeah. for you to listen to. He's, so. he's got it, man. He's like I said, Joiner's ten steps ahead of us. Yeah. Thirty angry emotes, uh, but ten more. And oh, ten more, and we will do a shot. How red am I getting, Come on, bro. let's go. Um, well, we only got a couple questions to go, anyways. I'm hoping uh, D Dula comes back so he can maybe answer one of these questions while I take a piss break, but. Just for kicks, JFK Buddy. wants to know your favorite stop on the Joiner Lucas tour. Uh, there's different categories for experience. California, obviously, I share the same stage as Chris Brown and Joiner. It, mm -hmm. it was monumental. Um, favorite stop on Joiner Lucas' tour um, for probably destination wise and for like how it looked, definitely like Canada. Uh, West Coast, Seattle, Washington, Actually, Joe, British. John, you want to punch in? You want to come talk for a second as they go take a piss? I was about to say I got pissed too. But <laughs> go we'll take turns. We'll take yeah. turns. Here, pop in. Let's do this. Let's do a quick swap. It's gonna happen. It's a drinking podcast. Yeah. Keep doing it. Um, he's gonna talk to you about anything. Please do. Uh, we'll go to the next question real quick. And what's your favorite music video you worked on? And then you can post questions so this is john he's been our technical guy the whole time he's been oh. forwarding over the messages so let's uh keep on our roll i'm gonna go take a piss and then we'll keep swapping out and then end the show let's do it be right back <sighs> favorite music video that i've worked on favorite music video that i've worked on um okay it's obviously it's like okay chris brown yeah everybody's talking about chris brown but the only reason why i'm saying chris brown is because cork who's my business partner, we designed most of Chris Brown's sets. So if you watch uh, Stranger Things, there's there's three things in that that I want you to mention or to look at. Um, that big, massive, circular uh, lighting wall that was designed by Joe Corcoran. He's an inventor, he's a designer, he's, he's an all-around entrepreneurial guy. 
Um, he literally designed this entire set off of these lights that we got four hours before the set at like five in the morning. So it was, it was absolutely, it was ridiculous. Um, and then the second thing that I want you guys to look at, if you ever watch that video, is Chris Brown and Joyner down the alleyway. It looks like a Tron Legacy set. That was my, I designed that. Cork and I, they handed us like 40 something of these light bars and him and I just took them and went down the street and we told Chris to drive his Bentley SUV down the street. So do you find, so it sounds like that's your favorite video you did. Is, yeah, is it because yeah. you had the more creative control rather than, so when you're doing sets that you don't have that creative control, is it more of a, here's what that video is gonna look like, just make it look pretty? Yeah, type so you know? that was, yeah, that was that was overall just like, I needed, I wanted to like, I, I was experiencing being in California, I was Chris Brown, and then I was, I got to design the set, you know what I mean? So that was that, that was overall the full package. There's been other videos that were unbelievable because of certain equipment we were using, certain people I got to meet, but that was definitely like the overall, the best. And because our tour bus that we bought literally hours before that shoot, we had that in the video, that's in the music video, and it has like 80 something million views. We drove that bus after that music video all the way across the country, and now it's getting painted and we're about to travel across the country and do a whole tour with Limitless, so. Um, yeah. So I, I think there was, question. there was another question that came through that I saw, and it was about a phone Z. Now, you guys can't see it, but in I'll this little area. What the hell are we talking about? Oh, do we about? have it? So it's basically a, a Snuggie that has a phone pocket. Listen, and we were asked about this, this phone Z. So I, I want to. Can I see your phone real quick? I'll give you, I think this is Justin's phone. We'll just hand you. Here. Here, so look. Regularly, if you were wearing, you know what I mean, your blanket or whatever at night, and you're with your spouse, pretend me and you're together, right? Hey, it's we're, we're about to go to bed. <laughs> we're about to go to bed. This is what the traditional way. It'd be waking them up. It's hey, crazy. We're, the we're lights are on. Right this is a phonesy. My business partner, Joe Corkin, invented this. You put this underneath here. You put your hands right through these straps right here. I'm looking at my phone You're right now. You're seeing this here first. Yeah, this is, this is real. This is real. I'm looking at my phone right now. It's, it's private. I can't no even lights see getting it. out. As his phone significant thing. other in this segment, I can't see his phone. Nice I'm country. sleeping soundly. This and is Justin's like giving me the hook. You guys will see more of this right in a few. Well, I didn't know I'd pull out and then it turned into advertisement. That's <sighs> it. The goal here is for me to replace Snap the Shamrock. That's oh, that's okay. it. Phonesy. That's it. Next next big product. All right. We ta you tagging out to the bathroom? Can I? Yeah, tag can out. Court, can like, can, can court I? Come talk court, court, come on. Hey, real quick. Yeah, I'll, I'll punch in. Okay. We'll do yep, a quick, please do. We'll switch quick out. person swap. Right. <laughs> it's so funny. Jesus, it, it's middle. it's so weird because we're out here I mean, and like we gotta piss and then all of a sudden like like it happens it's part of the show it's live we're live so we're almost we're edging on here, two here, hours how are yeah, you no. doing oh, Wait, yeah. you've been behind the scenes the whole time oh you, you were you were peeing yeah so he just talked about his music video that he created that you guys had more creative control on and talked about Stranger Things from an influence and it sounds like you kind of built that light wall. Um, you know, is that a show that's been influencing you from an artistic perspective, or, or what made mm -hmm. you think about that idea? So, in all reality, um, basically Ben Pru from Project Two Studios. You can follow him on Instagram. If you find Ben Pru, he actually outlined the whole process very well. And he came to me with this with a sketch, with a few lines on a piece of paper. And we had rented a um, uh, Airbnb in Torrance, California, that we were staying at. Trevor, myself. And the rest of our business partners, you know, Stoken, Cody, Brennan, and Mike Toth, and Brian Medrick, we were all staying there. And so the Project 2 guys came by and they were basically like, hey, we want to make a light like this. You know, we have a, a bunch of these lights. We're going to do it all day tomorrow in Sunnyvale. And, you know, here's here's the idea that I have. And it was literally eight piece, eight, eight lines on a piece of paper. You know? oh, and that's it's it. Like, it was, the video like, will come out. That's basically it. So we were like, all right, cool. Like, you know, we shared the vision and we kind of just connected. And the next day, uh, Connor, myself, Ben, and everyone else, we spent, you know, probably 18 hours in this in this garage in Sunnyvale. Yeah. Never have ever even touched these lights before, you know. And we're and we created this big big eyeball, and that's basically it. And then Connor programmed it all, and then Chris Brown danced in front of it, and they made a fucking viral video, and it was sick. Which is crazy. <laughs> And yeah, that's it. Phonesy. The phonesy. All right, I'm going to get out.
All right, Trevor. We got a couple more questions. I, we're yeah. edging the two-hour mark, which is crazy oh, to me. That's perfect. So I, I love you, man. Um, it's, it's been an honor. Uh, we're still taking questions from the audience. So if we, if we get any others, we'll take them. Um, is there any update on the? Are we still at thirty? If we can get to forty angries, we'll take a shot. But if you guys aren't gonna do it, we're gonna just close out and be done. So. We're actually down to 29. <laughs> we, Sorry, we guys. lost an angry. Well, it was the, the phone Z was, was, people, was too popular. People, people are enjoying this. They're enjoying this. So it's, it's totally okay. So we're going to take the next question. And this is from Doug Dimadone's Dingleberry. I love Dingleberry. <laughs> and he said, if you saw Sasquatch, would you attempt to bef befriend him or kill him? Okay. So I have two questions to ask Sasquatch when the time comes. Okay. One. So you're going to befriend him? It depends on these answers. <laughs> All right. Do you drink chocolate? Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! We might both have to take a shot. Oh, this isn't enough. I'll take a shot for you. All right, go ahead. And two, are you going to kill me? Wait, wait, what was the first question? Do you like chocolate milk? Do you like chocolate milk? It's a stupid question because he's not going to answer. <laughs> you think he's just going to... You don't think he speaks... Any language. No, dude. That motherfucker doesn't know what the fuck he's saying. He's just like... And that's it. <laughs> that's one language right there. Yeah. That's it. So, yes, I would befriend him if he See, I don't him. know. Because I feel like I would take a picture and then maybe kill him. With the flash? Do you know how much money you'd make? Well, okay. I'm not going to be able to kill him because look at Photoshop, me. I'm, what am I going to do? Like fist fight him? What if he just straight up? What if he? What if he puts his hand out to shake with you? That's fucking. Like, weird. would you put your hand out <laughs> and would you grab his I hand? Would. I would. I would. But if he's an animal, that's, I don't know. That's vulnerability. I don't know. That's, that's he a, fucking pull that's, you. That's, well, okay. That's, I just, see. I you know. Set me up. I know. You okay. set me up. Sorry. Well, it depends because, like, say you kill him, you have the only picture of Sasquatch and. All existence says you didn't of him alive. It. Who says you didn't go to Joe Corey and true. ask if you could that's Photoshop it? <laughs> it's just him. He can do it. That's the thing that's fucked. Maybe I'd befriend him. But then I would befriend him and make a sitcom. Sasquatch and me. And then we just become best friends. So you would so you would bring Sasquatch down from the mountain. Yeah. Or maybe you I would, would move there. Contacts. Service. Phone service. Yeah, but you you don't need f you know how, to how would people. you put Sasquatch on Instagram without phone service? You have someone film. You have a team, and then they go to the then they'd have to go down the mountain and then edit. You know what I mean? The editing process, which is good, and then they come okay, check okay. So yes, it TV could have, shows okay. take a while. Valid. I like the fact that Valid. you're like, no, we need to edit this. Like Sasquatch is Kylie Jenner. Like you yeah. need to make sure you had that dog filter on it. That, Sasquatch has to look fabulous. That, that memory card with Sasquatch from the camera needs to be in a metal box and needs to be flown to the destination where the editor is because you can't risk being lost. Yeah. Sorry. Have you ever had lost footage outside of Miami? Yes, dude. Just recently, sorry if anybody from the shoot is watching. I'm breaking the news right now. <laughs> from from 12 p.m. until 6 p.m. from Eli's shoot last Saturday, for whatever reason, is missing. Trust me, I've done the same because we were shooting a video. So me, my brother, and Deej Willie had a hip-hop group going, and we shot a video to a whole song. We had the song 100%. We had the video 100%. Lost the whole thing. See, my thing Never is, I, I just haven't edited the footage yet. I just want to tell him. I have it. Oh, you have it? It's, it's coming. It's, it's coming. coming. It's coming. All right, so we got. Uh oh. Uh oh. Cover. So, um, so we got, I think, one last question. If you have something better, let us know. But we have this well, is the last is a question. Bad question. No, it's a great question. I like this Dingleberry one. Whoever you are, just hit me. <laughs> we up. got Young Tooth. If you had to choose one to live without, what You're would such you a choose? Piece of shit, huh? Weed? Or Oakhurst. I mean, I live Listen, with, without I don't, I don't them, smoke so I'm weed. Good. I don't smoke weed socially. Like I don't, I don't go out and just like hang out with my friends and smoke weed in a blind. Like I, I don't do that. Like, oh fuck. Weed or Oakhurst. I can make my own chocolate milk. Okay, so it's not the brand. Or is the brand the best? I've tasted the brand. Now I want to make the brand. But right now, until the brand's not gone, I'm going to buy the brand. So you would rather quit Oakhurst and keep smoking weed and then make your own chocolate to milk? To make more money, to buy more weed, and then to make more chocolate milk. Yes, 100%. 
So you heard it I here grow first. My weed and grow you my heard diet. it here first. Trev Fitta, Trevor Finney will give up Oakers before weed. Uh oh. Do we have a question? Uh, we have a question coming in that's asking why are there 50 kids uh, on Elm Street wearing limitless hats, ripping wheelies? <laughs> because I'm a smart marketer. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, this what, well, so what you did, you just gave out merch? I saw kids doing something that other fat kids aren't doing, and I gave them a hat, and I let them do what they wanted with the hat. They're riding bikes doing wheelies at the age of 11 years old. If you're thing. telling me that that's wrong, you yourself are a waste of life. Yeah. There's an 11-year-old outside riding a bicycle doing wheelies. That's normal. That First of all, <laughs> it's far from normal now because every kid's stuck in their fucking house because their parents buy them video games. This kid's out riding his bicycle with a team. What did I say earlier? It's always good to have a team. Squad. With a team repping a brand that, that makes sense. There, there, there's 11 year olds riding bikes living limitless. If anybody has issues with that, come talk to me in a few years. Oh, it's fine. Well, it's simple. It's simple. I'm, I'm, I'm the nice. You know me, bro. Yeah. I'm the nicest person. I'm humble. I'm. I get to the point. I'm straightforward. What I'm doing right now isn't for the money. It, it's, it's, it's a passion. For you. I would. Do you think that I'm expecting these kids to wear my hat and for me to sell fucking nine hundred dollars worth of merch? No. no, you're an idiot if you think that's what I was expecting. And if you don't understand what I'm doing, if you have no idea what I'm doing, you are you are very behind, and you will never keep up. And to wrap up the show, do you have anything to I tell do. the I, world? I have, I, have, I have a few things. One, always live limitless, and um, you're going to see a few of my ventures. I got one take challenge. If you're a hip-hop artist and you want to get involved in the hip-hop uh, challenge that we're doing, it's a one take, one take thing that we're doing. Go to one take competition.com check it out um i'm literally doing a music video a one take music video for 350 dollars um and uh we don't know exactly when we're gonna launch it but it's, it's happening that's just one venture regardless i don't want to get off topic that was a great conversation nothing else for the world dude the haters can just 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 keep watching all right just do what you're doing now watch us take the shot so do you want to take the shot or do you want just me to take the shot? I want to take, take a shot. I want to take a shot with you because I'm very happy at what just because happened. Because what happens is shot, you're the bro. winner, which it, which again but I'm, but I'm, has never happened before. No, bro, because but, Dill got crushed last game, and you beat bro. me this round, which again I probably won't happen ever again because there's so much people out there showing you love, showing love in general. Bro. Not that many people showing anger. They didn't want to see two shots. They but. We will do two shots. We're gonna, we'll two each, shots. We'll, we're gonna cheers. We're gonna take the shot. It. That's it. And for those of you at home, live limitless. Thank Let's you. go. All right, bro. Thanks everybody for joining the podcast today. A little bit of a teaser for next week. If you liked that Moo song, the <laughs> meme music, we do have a uh, rather that's large funny. Instagram influencer that's focused on memes for next week yes. or for next podcast. Oh, well, that's what say. we're hoping for. We're yeah. hoping for next week we'll get it scheduled. But if you liked what you saw today, if you have any updates or uh, changes that you think we should make, let us know. As you saw between the two shows, we've, we're trying to keep the content going good. So thank, thank you, guys you guys for attending. And thank you, Trevor, for, for being a great guest here great on, on Shop That was dope.